Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? I'm so happy you're here. Holy shit. Wow. Hi. Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Wingnut Roundup for a whole new year, 2020. It's January, the end of January. And I got to tell you, this month, this month was awesome. This month was amazing. It was so fun. Way too much fun. And now we're, we're very formal. Look, it's a new year. It's a new me. It's a new channel. It's a new all of us, a new chance to... Go out there and do the best we can, be the best versions of ourselves that we could possibly be. And for that purpose, I was like, let's do a stand-up roundup, okay? And then everybody can see exactly how much of a spaz I am. Because usually I'm just sitting down and I'm like, got that restless leg syndrome sort of thing. But you guys never see it because I have like high-impact chairs. That's not true at all. But anyway. Uh... <laughs> I, uh, I'm really, really happy that you guys are here. I am in such a good mood, uh, and it's because of you, because of this, because of what we do every month. Uh, also, I have received some wonderful, wonderful presents in the mail that I want to share with you. Um, but first, and this is important, this is like, you can't, you can't have a roundup without this one essential component. Excuse me. Thank you. Um... <clears throat> I hope you all came prepared for class, okay? Oh, it's a great sound, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
Much better. <clears throat> Cheers to you. I hope everything has been fantastic this month. I hope it continues to be amazing. Let's do it. Also, if I could be <clears throat> a little bold, I don't know what it is. I'm kind of nervous tonight. Are you getting that vibe off me? Like, do, am I like exuding this nervous energy? Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. Oh, didn't read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. I'm so used to, uh, oh, no, 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 any more room on my table. There we go. I'm so used to uh, my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash realjeffholiday, where you get to see me make my videos live, cha-cha-cha, uh, to everything being read. But uh, for the roundup, text-to-speech plays for $10 and higher, uh, and if you'd like to, you can always use Streamlabs. They don't take 30% of your money like Super Chat does, but whatever. We'll get to those in a minute. First, mail time. I got this wonderful letter. <clears throat> Jeff Holiday. Hello. I hope this painting finds you well. I've never sent anything in the mail before, literally ever, so I'm just hoping it doesn't get destroyed. I got to catch you on the Drunken Peasants episode, which, by the way, is a podcast I frequently am a guest on. Hey, Jeff, I am at work, so I can only listen. Oh, that's okay. But I am excited to hear the great stuff you've got for us. Oh... Things have been hard lately for me, but the roundup means a lot to me. Well wishes to you and yours. Oh, well wishes to you and yours as well. Thank you. That's very kind of you. We do have some really good stuff tonight. We'll talk about that in a second. <clears throat> but yeah, Drunken Peasants, great podcast. Buddies of mine. I'm on there all the time. Uh, the episode where poor Egghead, who's a good boy, and I love Egghead, great guy, got the life zapped out of him by a neck taser dog collar thing. Uh, and it got stuck in my mind. The request you had was that you wanted a painting of a regal egghead with tassels. And they didn't have much to do on their birthday, so they couldn't think of a better thing to spend their birthday on than to paint this for me. <laughs> so thank you very much, the dirty kid. Um, <clears throat> so this, this is the painting that they sent me. Uh, I believe if we do this, if I set up everything right. Yep, that's a picture I just took of it a few minutes ago. I love it. This is wonderful. This makes me really, really happy. Like, you guys don't even know. Art, people sending me art makes me lose my mind happy. Super happy, okay? So, I'm just gonna... Just gonna put that right there, all right? <clears throat> uh, next up. Hello, Jeff Holiday. This is from Emily. Uh, we're not gonna read the whole thing, but... Uh... Stumbled upon your appearance on Dr. Phil. I want to thank you for the work you do in exposing pseudoscience. Um, been watching your videos, happen to get inspired when you speak of individuals selling pseudoscience. I forget this image of an old-timey snake oil salesman. Naturally, the salesman would have had some kind of apothecary table where they concoct their next weird substance, and that will work. They will sell as a miracle cure. Uh, and the rest, I read the rest of it. Thank you so much, Emily. Very sweet. Very, very sweet letter. And this, I love this. This is so cool. So I don't think you're going to be able to see it, right? But beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the picture that I took just like literally five minutes before we went live does not do it justice. It's such an odd, like Jilly Juice, Blood Root, Good Vibes, Vaccines Kill. Obviously the crystals that have been in somebody's butt, we all, we know what it is. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, yes, art, love art. Thank you guys so much. And last but not least, <clears throat> was that? Uh, a very, my fiance loves you, and you may get a wedding invitation from us in the future. Shh. Well, I hope I do, uh, but I don't know if I can read your name out there. So uh, I have a P.O. box. If you ever want to send me anything, a letter, some art, whatever, it's cool. I will just let make sure if you send a letter you mark whether or not it can be read on stream or not. That way I know. I don't want, you know, I don't want anybody accidentally getting their information out there. So, <clears throat> let's make sure everything's working right. I've got you guys in the chat over here, okay? I've got, is that working? No. No, it sure isn't. <laughs> That's not good. 
Okay, cool. There we go. Good. And then here we have our Streamlabs. Curious Cat said, Yo, Jeff. Thank you for doing the roundups. Tonight I look forward to listening in while doing my bio homework. You helped me get courage to publish my first e-story to help pay for school. Stay awesome. You stay awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, Murian Stewart, this is my first roundup at my dorm in SF. I'm now studying at SAE of Emeryville, California. I'm going for my Associates of Audio. Much love. Much love to you. Thank you. And Neil Gibble said, damn, Dr. Daddy Jeff looking good tonight. You know what the sport coat needs? A kilt. I do have a kilt. I decided not to wear it tonight. I thought about it. Also, for it being January, I am overheating right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, and... Madoka Starpunch says, looking sharp, Doc, take my ooh, ooh commission money and keep fighting the good fight with it. What do you think your furry species would be? Ooh. Look, I've thought about this a long, long, long time. Um, I think badger. Like, there's this kind of like a noble handsomeness to the badger, but they're not like a nice looking animal, you know? And they're kind of mean. They're no bullshit. That's me. So I think a badger. Let me know if you want me to draw a wolf or something up for you, and I'll drop it in the Discord. I am definitely not a wolf. Mm -mm, no, I'm, I'm good. Jardica's first time live. Perks are working late shift. Love you, Jeffy. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. I want to send a special thank you very much tonight uh, to Memory, my wife, my wife, uh, for finding us some spicy new wing nuts, actually. She found some good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, and last thing we're going to do before we get to the wing nuts, we got a show. If you go over to brainforcesideeffects.com, you can find yourself the various different beautiful merch items that I haven't designed anything new for in forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I promise I'll do better in the future, okay? I promise. All right. All right, let's check. Let's check. I got to do the old man shuffle now. I, I am getting up in the years now. Oh, jeez. All, right. uh, all right, what's what's first? <laughs> I promise I'm not going to ham it up this much the whole time. Ish. Um, all right, first step on our plate tonight for the Wingnut Roundup of January 2020. We have this beautiful gem. Um, I really want to get this one out of the way early because this is actually not just like a wingnut Other thing. Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. Hey, Jeff. Hey. I don't have fancy wine with me, but I have vodka. Super happy to have caught another roundup. Love what you do. Keep it up. You know what? I love what you do. I love what you do. I like your style, man. Your style is cool. I like that. I mean... I, my fancy wine cost me, it's like a double-sized bottle of wine. It cost me nine bucks. But and that's just because I know, listen, you know what? Okay, look, <clears throat> look, people are going to talk some shit about my wine selections and everything like that. It's very simple. No, I didn't tuck my shirt in. I don't care. Uh, uh, I, I don't have bad taste in wine. I'm just frugal, and I'm so knowledgeable, I know how to buy cheap wine that tastes good. Okay? Okay? Are we, is this going to be an issue? Don't gotta be. <laughs> anyway, we're doing this one first uh, because this is less of like a wingnut and more of like a live debunk thing. Very, very simple. Mems pointed it out and it's infuriating. In solar system are doing very well. This is my first time watching live. I'll be gentle. Thank you for everything you do. I love you, Jeff. I love you. I love you. Oh my God. I want to get these beautiful letters out of the way so I don't spill on them. There you go. Right. <clears throat> also, uh, see, me standing up this time is very tactical. It means I'll be burning off the booze faster. And, uh, yeah, I'll maintain my composure better. This is a live debunking uh, because Mems found this, and it's wild. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mercy. I am a BSN RN. And on this channel, I talk about nursing, lifestyle, beauty, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Okay. But today's video is going to be a feminine hygiene video. I'm going to be sharing some wonderful feminine hygiene products with you guys and also sharing some very helpful tips with you guys to help you keep the box clean and smelling fresh so if you like these kind of <laughs> videos please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification button so that you'll never miss another video from me again i've done a video about this topic before 
just in case you need the latest in products to make sure your box stays uh, nice smelling and fresh. There's a point to this. We'll get to it. Come on, let's go. Before, and I showed you guys a specific product and you guys absolutely loved it. So I was able to partner up with that company again to bring you guys some wonderful products that is going to improve your feminine hygiene game. I'm sure. also going to be doing a huge giveaway at the end of the video, so stay Ooh. tuned for that. Okay guys, so as I said, today's video is going to be a feminine hygiene video. Right. I am partnering up with Neutral Blasts to bring you some great feminine hygiene products. So the first product I showed you guys from this company before was the Boric Acid. These are suppositories that not only prevent, but also cure things like BV, UTI, itching, foul odor, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And a lot of you guys who purchased the product said that it worked. So that is one of the reasons I wanted to partner up with them again to bring you guys more products so first before we get into the video let me give you guys a disclaimer uh, I, I would like to give a disclaimer first, if that's okay. I just like, I, I know I, there's a really important thing that we got to talk about in this, and I, I really don't want us to get too mired in stuff, but I think this is probably pretty important. Um, <clears throat> hang on. Hi, my name's Jeff Holiday. Don't, please don't, don't ever Your put bork. comments during last month's roundup meant so much to me. That's good. I've been working really hard on my book and you've helped to inspire and motive me. Aww. I don't know why it stopped. Did it stop just because I switched over? Love you and all you do. I love you and all you do. Thank you so much, V. That's very sweet. Okay, let's try this again. Hang on. <clears throat> Hi. I'm TV's Jeff Holiday. I just wanted to let you know uh, that you should not put boric acid in your vagina. Okay. <clears throat> Just want to make sure, like, we're all on the same page here. Before you put anything inside or outside your body, please go ahead and talk to your healthcare provider or your doctor to make sure that these products are safe for you. Do not mm -hmm. come to YouTube for medical advice. If you She's find right. yourself being prone to She's a right. lot of these issues, totally right. please talk to your doctor or your healthcare provider. These are only tips and tricks to help you guys. On the other hand, these products are safe to use in many cases. They are all natural products, and most importantly, they are FDA approved. I'm going to make sure to write that down in your copy book write that down in your copy book also this is the same company that that uh uh makes vaginal suppositories of boric acid <clears throat> which by the way <clears throat> hi uh tv's jeff holiday here again um don't 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 put boric acid in your vagina just you know <clears throat> thought you should know Anyway. <clears throat> link down below so you can go to their Amazon website and read a lot of their feedbacks and do your own research. But as I said, a lot of people who purchase these products have a lot of positive things to say about them. So again, these are only tips and tricks to help you boost up your feminine hygiene okay. and to also help those females out there who find themselves prone to those embarrassing feminine issues like BV, bad odor, candidiasis, UTI, itching, and other embarrassing things. So I have a big box of products here that I want to show you guys and I'm going to okay from this point in the video and and keep in mind we're not watching this video because like I'm necessarily super invested in women's vaginal Other health although if you are that's probably a good well. thing and you shouldn't be embarrassed about that like that's totally fine we're not we're not here to make a cracks or jokes about that however there's something really important that she said there uh, she then goes on to list like a bajillion different things and if you have this you should go see your doctor if you have that you should go see your doctor like it's honestly like four minutes worth of like when you have when you when you have like when you see one of those uh, medication commercials on TV and there's like 10 seconds of the commercial and then a minute and a half of uh, this may cause mesothelioma, heart disease, cancer, sudden explosive death, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of like that, but for four fucking minutes. Anyway. See. You trust or... Ah, 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 ah. Stop. Where are we at? Mm -mm -mm. I think it was about here. I think it was about here. I'm having to use a touch screen on very small stuff, so bear with me. 
So when you wipe, you want to wipe from front to the back Hi because Jeff, the I sent you an email a while <laughs> back about my experience with medical bullshit. Huh? <laughs> Don't know if you got it. Love you and all you do. First time catching a live stream from the beginning, Tilda. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Thank you very much, Ash Dragon. That's really sweet of you. Um, I might have. So, uh, this is this is something that I, I, I keep having to make, um, apologies for. And it's a genuine apology. I, I am a ferret. It's kind of also the whole, like, badger thing. I'm a ferret. I have a ferret mind. And, like, once I'm focusing on something, I'm like... And I, I totally forget everything else that I was doing, so it's really hard to nail me down. I read all the letters, and I'll be like, okay, that was a really good letter. I'm going to write them back. And then I'm like, ooh, but this person's putting this up their butt, and I need to go and investigate it. And then I totally forget. It's nothing personal. I love you so much, and I really do. The, the stories and, and experiences that people share with me mean a lot to me, a whole lot, even if I don't necessarily get a chance to show it to you as much as I would like to. So... You know, um, where were we? Uh, I think it was back to front or front to front. To... Front area is cleaner than the back area. There is also a lot more bacteria in the back area. So if you're wiping from back to front, you're going to drag those bacteria from the back to the front, That's which not a causes idea. a lot of these problems. So make sure that you wipe from front to back. So with all those things in mind, let me show you guys these amazing products. Okay, here we go. So here again, we go. as I said before, <laughs> this video is sponsored by Neutral Blast, and yeah. this is a box of stuff that I want to share with you guys. Okay. So, if you haven't seen the other video, I'm going to link that down below, but I've already talked about this first one. This is the Boric Life Boric Acid. It is a suppository that balances your pH, therefore preventing and curing things like BV, yeast infection, candidiasis, foul odor, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So this right here is the suppository applicator. What it does is it helps you insert the suppository. Okay. I know, I know something's about to pop up here in a second, and we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Um, but, like, a suppository applicator, I mean, I... How hard could it be? The first time I saw your complete outfit, I chuckled a bit. My complete Trying outfit. to get math homework done after a tough month back at uni. But I look forward to this every month. I hope you and Mems are well, UWU. We are super well. I'm doing great, man. I feel so awesome. Uh, I hope college is going fucking great, by the way. All you guys out there in college, I need you. I am going to be living vi vicariously through you because I didn't get a chance a to get ferret. to my Sora bachelor's. Sora furry, then. Not that anything's wrong with that. Unless you're also into diapers and whatnot. No! No! Okay. No bullying, all right? No bullying about my... My, uh... I, I didn't I didn't even I didn't even I don't I don't care. You guys are gonna fuck with me about that now. So hard. Forever. Forever, forever. That's okay. Also, I'm realizing I might have to load my uh my Streamlab stuff onto uh this thing. Anyway, so here's we're getting to the, the part that's important. Uh oh yeah, one more thing. <clears throat> uh Hi. I, I just wanted to, to like remove all the glitz and glamour for a second. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, don't put boric acid in your vagina. I just, I swear, it's the last time, the last time I'm going to bring it up, okay? I promise, all right? Let's go. Tori into the V. And I showed you guys how to do this in the other video, but this product is amazing. A lot of you guys who purchased it came back and said that it worked wonders. So this is the suppository. This is the suppository applicator. So the next product I want to show you guys is another suppository. Now the first suppository I showed you guys is a 30 day supply and you use it once a day by inserting it into the vagina. The second product is also a suppository, but this one is a 12 day supply. I'll show you guys what this one looks like. It comes in a strip of six, so there's two of these in the box. So what you want to do is you tear this off like that, and then there is a little opening, and you open it up like this, and the suppository comes out, and then oh. you can insert it into the V as well. This one, you can either use your finger or you can use the suppository applicator. So that is what How this convenient. one looks like. So what this suppository does is it supports vaginal hygiene, it relieves vaginal dryness, and it also relieves vaginal odor. So there is... Okay. 
this is what we were getting to. This is why it's a kind of a live debunking sort of thing. Um, there's a very, very drastic problem with this. Right at the beginning of her video, she says, all of these products are FDA approved. Well, if we go over to the NutriBlend website, <clears throat> let's see if I can, oh God, I actually really need, I need real glasses at this point. I'm becoming an old man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting old on you. This is from uh, the product page for uh, their stuff. Legal disclaimer, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any of the following conditions, blah, 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 blah. Not one aspect, not one aspect of the supplement and the suppositories that she's trying to sell are in fact FDA approved at all. That's kind of a problem. But also on top of that, please don't put tea tree oil in your vagina. Do I do we do we, do we need to like do 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 we gotta do this again? Do we gotta do this? I don't think we have to, do we? Do we? Look, it's real simple. Tea tree oil is extremely abrasive to human tissues. It will give you chemical burns. It could give you chemical burns on your regular skin. Do you need my glasses? Do I need your glasses? <laughs> Let me see them. <laughs> Maybe. Here, thank you. Uh -huh. Let me see. <laughs> these are memories glasses. Let me see if these actually help. Hang on. <clears throat> wow, they actually do help. Wow, okay. I am getting old and this is disgusting. Ew. Um, tea tree oil can cause chemical burns, legit chemical burns. Now, uh, it, it could give you chemical burns on just like your hands or your regular topical skin. She's trying to tell you to put it in your vagina, in your vagina. Uh, it, it's, it's going to, uh, increase, uh, y y your vaginal o- First time watching this live with the wifey <laughs> and it's awesome. Oh, that's good. You make moving back to the worthwhile. Love from based virologist Chris and the wifey. Ah, uh, other planets. That love you, love you. System are doing very well. The roundup <sighs> is my favorite thing each month. Oh my God! I'm having a flare help. day, and despite it being 1 a.m., I'm super happy. Oh, that's good. Also, I think I finally figured out Streamlabs. You did. It works. Thank you for bringing us the insane woo and pseudoscience out there. Mmm. The fuck is that picture there? The first one, I mean? I don't know. The fuck is that picture, though? The first one, I oh. mean. I think that's just some... I think that's knees. I think that's some knees. Yeah. I think we're good. I don't think Other I... planets that I've created in the solar system... I mean, we're get, we can get a little spicy, but we can't get too spicy. You get me through work days. Oh. Need to work on my pause game. Had to explain why Kai is... Stored in the balls to my coworker why the other day. Why she is stored in the balls? Roundup. Man, I love that. That's good. That's good. I like that a lot. Okay. <clears throat> I'm really upset, though, because my wife's glasses are actually really helping right now. And I've been like, my eyes are not that bad. But now I'm like, do they look good on me at least? I hope they do. Like, here, hang on. Do, do, do they look, do I look dignified? You know? Do I look like I should be a professor? <clears throat> now, now, naughty, naughty, you shouldn't be speaking up in class. <laughs> it's not going to help the rumor mills. Ah, damn. Okay. Anyway, I don't even know who that lady is. Uh, don't put tea tree oil in your vagina, please. That uh, It's a bad, It's you'll have a bad time, you know. Let's see, where are we? Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. Uh, just found my card after a scare, so here, take some money. Well, thank you very much. Becky Hill says, much love from the UK. Uh, Jeff, glad to catch the stream. This is much needed as I found out today my ex's cancer came back and has spread. That's too bad. That's really too bad. I'm sorry. Kelly Montelios is back again. Uh, best way to end the month, I agree. Don't have any alcohol because I don't drink, but that's okay. But I do have Coke and noodles. Oh my. Uh, bring the madness. I will do my best. Nick Warner says, glad to have the roundup and drinks after a tough month. Well, here's hoping February is better for you and me both. Okay. Okay. I think we're doing good. What do you guys think? These glasses? I'm trying to look at the... Professor of Wingnaology. 
Love you, Jeff, but you look super old. I, I, look, the, the funny thing is, the older I get, the less old I feel. Isn't that weird? It's so crazy. Like, the gray's starting to come in and shit. I feel so, like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's crazy. And also, if I'm giving off professor vibes, it might be because <clears throat> I do have a doctorate, okay? Listen, look. <clears throat> Someday you, too. Uh, can be a doctor. All right. It's it's it, look. If you if you have a dream, and you have the will to search out and chase that dream, you too, you too, can have a doctorate for twenty eight dollars. <throat> oh boy, what's this? Let's get a little bit more a uh, little bit more wine in here. Hmm. Okie dokie. Next up, we have that. Finally. <sighs> After watching your videos for forever, I've finally been blessed to catch you live. Daddy Jeff, I can't stress enough how important the work you do is. Keep up the good fight against those moon bat pseudoscience fools. <laughs> also, hi, Mems. I really appreciate that. I thank you very much. That's very sweet. Um, I I tendency to I have a tendency to be more of like a court jester about some of the stuff that I do. Um, but I I do believe in it. it that's all because I'm very self deprecating. I always make jokes at my own expense. That's what I'm all about. Um, <clears throat> but I will say uh, that the next things that I'm doing. <laughs> Um, including my project in February, uh, I feel very positive about. And I, I'm, like, staring at a box full of uh, gear just for my secret mission. But we'll talk about that later. It's, you know, it's not important. Um, all right, next up. We got to get through something kind of serious, something a briefly kind of serious, uh, because there's actually been a lot of people asking me about this. There's been a lot of wingnuts that have also been talking about this and making videos about this. Rachel Renestra uh, tended to be the one that made the most brief one. So we're going to go through it real quick, try and be as respectful as we can, and the rest of it's all just ridiculous bullshit. And we'll have fun with it afterwards. There's so many. So unless you've been hiding under a rock... You know what happened today. Um, we do. Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. Uh, his daughter also perished in that crash. And uh, already received my tax return. So sending some your way since you're one of the reasons I managed to finally convince my mom to not do new age medicine. Yes. Yeah. Thank you from Oklahoma. Yeah. Dude, that's 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 awesome. That is so great. That is so great. Congratulations. Um, yeah. And you already got your tax return? <sighs> YouTube takes forever to, to like, kick all everything down. And everything else you usually have to, like, calculate by hand. But, uh, uh. All right. Let's do it. Um, uh, baseball coach, um, wife, daughter, and I think one or two more people. And uh, it's interesting when this happens because... It makes the whole world. Um, I don't know. I guess when you when you see somebody famous die and you think they're so powerful and rich, it's just surprising. But for me, I I start looking other things up and I'm like, was there anything in the news that told us this was going to happen? It's day before the Grammys. Whitney Houston died a day before the Grammys. So I look up this uh, cartoon called Chamberlain Heights. It's a cartoon about um, looks like basketball players. It came out in uh, 2016. Yeah, Rachel, I'm, I'm sure that you were the one who looked it up and you didn't just see it in a bunch of other wingnut channels. I'm sure it was you. You were the first one. 2017. <clears throat> Kane and Disabled, End of Days, More Than a Video. These are the names of the episodes. I just find those to be interesting as well. But you're probably saying, well, Rachel, why are you even looking up a Comedy Central cartoon? This is really lame. Back in the day. This, just putting uh, that out there, it's really lame. Well, it seems that there's um, a pattern of cartoons. Yeah, S, S in the chat for, for Kobe, all right? Certain things. And um, I thought, well, wouldn't it be interesting if they had something like this in this cartoon? And um, 
doing more research, of course. Of course, there absolutely is. And uh, here it is. Oh, shit! It's Kobe Bryant! Help me. Just pass me the trophies and we'll pull you out. Pass? These were shot. Oh, shit! It's Kobe Bryant! Predictive programming, coincidence, another time traveler, another family guy, another Simpsons. Okay, and this is like the least offensive one that I could possibly find to talk about this tendency in the wingnut world for this kind of shit to happen. Like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not blowing it out of proportion. There are Other probably hundreds hundreds of videos that got put out after Kobe died all talking about like he was knocked off by the CIA he was killed by this he's killed by that and then as soon as they discovered this goddamn cartoon so many more women it was it was totally foretold man so there, there's been a leak maybe like it's a QAnon that who gives a fuck it's so tasteless it's such in bad it's so gross it's gross it's disgusting I hate it I didn't even really want to mention it to begin with, to be honest with you, but uh, because so many people have brought it to my attention, I was like, yeah, I guess we got we got to talk about it just a little bit, briefly, briefly. Uh, all right. All right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm trying to do this through like a tablet thing that I don't miss any super chats. If I do, hopefully say it in the chat and one of my mods will catch it and, like, DM me and let me know and I'll try and catch it later. Uh, Firebrand says, will you ever cover Dr. Sebi? I have meant to cover Dr. Sebi, like, four different times, but something always came up. That's really the only reason why. Uh, Suicidel says, so glad I cut the stream. There will always, these always help when I need to pull an all-nighter at work. Hey. Randomness says, don't be sad about getting old, Jeff. It's just a new phase of life. You look good in glasses, so take care and get a pair of your own. Life is different when you get old, but there's still plenty of adventures out there for you. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Trust me. I... <clears throat> but see, I was smart about it. I was smart. See, I'm smart. I say that, and then instantly I have a, a flash of all the dumb things I've ever done in my life just go through my head. Uh, but I had a lot of really crazy, wild experiences when I was young, so I'm not really like... I have no regrets. No ragrets, okay? It's all good. It's all good. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> and this makes me happy, too. Let's do it. Wing Nut Round of Town, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Once we're at, in this video, we're going to look at Bubbles, the chimpanzee. Yeah, we are. So, Common Chimpanzee CC33. Uh, this was Michael Jackson's alleged chimp. Mm -hmm. Look at this image. That's a truth in plain sight. They're showing you the human hand on the chimp it's not a real animal it's a so what are chimpanzees you're gonna see a mixture of things mm -hmm. just like in it's hollywood it's all an extension of hollywood in hollywood they'll do practical effects they'll have little puppetry mm. have you ever wondered why puppetry is such a huge deal because it's one of their tools they use puppets they use realistic looking props they use actors in fursuits. It's a combination of things. Obviously. <clears throat> this is number coded if you want to dive into it, but whatever. Look how what I find really interesting connected with Bubbles is a lot of tea drinking references. Uh, Jackson brought Bubbles to Japan where they drink tea with the mayor of Osaka. They're celebrities. Look, drinking tea. So... And they dress it up like a child. That's the that's the programming. That's a, okay. Okay. It's just a midget in a suit. In the solar <laughs> very well. Just dropping in to donate. Wish I could stay and watch this live, but I'm helping clean my parents' house before my relatives come over for my birthday this weekend. Have a good one. Ah, uh, thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. This is very sweet of you, Hungry Kitty. Hungry Kitty. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just a midget in a suit. I'll show you Vern Troyer in a suit soon. No. Oh. Look, allegedly it's going to do sign language to it right here. Oh, sit. There you go. What a well-trained, well-trained chimp. 
Here's Vern Troyer in a gorilla suit. So you can get tiny little midgets in these suits. And this is just a test version. So you know that the one that they're going to use in real life looks better than this. And obviously won't have something out of it. Look at the tiny feet on this FTM here. So yeah, what you got, you got a midget actor. There's just no way that you're going to get a chimpanzee this well behaved. But something that's been pointed out, the ears, they just look like putty. There, there's no translucency to them. If, when you have real skin, there's kind of a translucent, translucent quality to it. But the ears just look... Yeah, I think it is actually pretty important to point out that... Uh, wait, oh, no, no, oh, shit. No, 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 sorry. Somebody in the chat confused me. They were like, oh, this has 140k views. No, nah, the video that Hans is watching has 140k views. Hans has, like, less than 1,000, okay? <laughs> I got confused by that. I was like, whoa, good for Hans. Wow. Look like putty. So well behaved. Here we go. This is a strange idea. It's like a pyramid. Kind of praying. Just looks like putty. I think that's a video that of the... like robotic. I, I the think... way the jaws no, moving? No, 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 no. I think what we're looking at right here is actually the robotic bubbles. There is a robot bubbles. I think there was actually a few of them that were made for various different things. Um, <laughs> yes, the, it it is. The, Hans is a special guy. Um, it's even better that he has a girlfriend who also makes conspiracy videos. She's amazing. I look like it's like robotic. Here you go. Hey, it's a midget in a suit. What a joke. Here we go. It's so cute. Little well trained little wild animal. Just when you listen to the words that they actually say, they give it away sometimes. It was great showmanship to be sure. All part of the Michael Jackson mystique. There you go. Great showmanship. I love it. I love you, Hans. So Hans. here's another moonwalk thing. Hans is special. Like, for those who are long-standing viewers of the Wayne Note Roundup, you know this is not the first time Hans has been casting shade on, uh, on apes and primate, primates. He tends to think pretty much all primates are fake. They're probably just playing the monkey noises over the solar system. Tape. Doing very well. And it's just a human making monkey noises. <laughs> oh my gosh. It knows to go back to the seat perfectly and sit down. Yeah. An animal wouldn't know that. Shakes an animal. An animal wouldn't know how to so shake a hand. What? He wasn't this little baby that would slap you and can get away with it. So one of these days, so we'll like, watch Hans Wormhat has made so many videos throughout the years. I really want to find a video where Hans he he says who a real actual woman is because every time i've heard him like I, every video i've seen of his anytime a woman comes on he's like look at this female the male male the female look at this look at this look at this this trans mm -hmm. like i i want to know what he thinks a real woman actually looks like i'm so curious i haven't been able to find it yet i've been looking through his catalog for a long time too we'll give this uh just uh just a little bit longer just a little bit more of this one just look at how obvious the programming is though it's really it's just so in your face in a house, it was hardly an appropriate home for a rapidly growing primate. Bubbles. Sit still. There was only so much a trainer could do. Now he's out. Just like a kid. They become very strong. It sort of almost happens overnight. And suddenly they pack on all this extra muscle. And um, they get rid So that's more truth in plain sight. They just put on a lot of muscle overnight. Yeah, because they got to upgrade the suit. The way that oh. these chimps work... You'll never see a smooth transition. It's they just they have to put on a bigger suit one day. Obviously, it's honestly, kind of like the trannies, the MTF trannies. They they don't slowly grow boobs. It's it's just one day you see them and they have breasts that are three sizes bigger than they used to be. Look at these crazy <laughs> eye it. sockets here. Shut it's up, a man! Oh, that intense <laughs> stare, the male gaze. Their hoaxes are always all looped together. This thing, 
uh, and they always get money out of it. Look, they got the pyramid idea, even with the tapstone. <laughs> right here. They always put their signs and symbols in the background. So one thing that makes it really obvious is okay. the, the fake animal suits. Well, they're always so clean. Ooh. There's never poop smeared on them. They're always so cooperative. So this is apparently what Bubbles looks like, and you won't get any middle ground. It's just this is what Bubbles looks like now. Oh, okay. Um, whatever. Shut up. But while this lady's talking... Anyway. Uh, so... <laughs> I can only take Hans for so long. Um, I, I... Do, do we do we need to debunk that one? I mean, one of the reasons why you don't ever want to have a primate as a pet is primates have never been domesticated. Not, not fully. Um, especially greater primates and apes and that sort of thing. They get to a certain point, and there it's there's a word for that point, uh, where they they have their hormones rampaging, and they have this irresistible urge to mate, and they're no longer listening to the people that are supposed to be responsible for them, and they act brashly, and then they're just impossible to control because you can't really communicate with them, and that's called puberty. Um, <laughs> that's something that we have in common with the great apes. Um, so it, it just is what it is. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, uh, Bubbles is not a man, a uh, little midget in a, oh my God. What's next? Oh yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Memory. I need a very small shot of whiskey to drink with this man. Very small. Very, very small. We're sticking with wine tonight, but I want a very, very small shot to drink with this guy. Uh, Cast Iron Chaos says, feel free to use this toward a pair of glasses. I'm going to need them. Don't be the blind leading the blind. I enjoy your channel a lot, but yes, get some glasses. I will. Microwave says, thanks for working so hard to bring us the best content. If you do something a lot to me, expect some art from me soon. Yes. Much love to you and your family. Much love from mine to yours. Let's do this. This is not a wing nut. This is not a wing nut, but this is great. This is This is awesome. Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's okay today. Can I, can I just say how much I absolutely love his name on YouTube? His name is uh, your favorite denture wearer. Like, that's literally his name on YouTube. That's awesome. That's great. Like, I'm not even, I'm not making fun of that. I think that's awesome. Like, ah, I live in an RV. I don't want to be your favorite RV guy. Uh... I got dentures. I'm your favorite denture wearer. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I like it. I like it. It's cool. I like this dude a lot. Um, you remember this video right here? Um, intestinal parasites from uh, November 13th, um, where I was all bloated real bad from Ooh. having the Ooh. intestinal parasites. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Ooh. I went through all your comments, Ooh. and I took into consideration all the holistic uh, approaches that y'all had for getting rid of the parasites. All right. Cats like obedient people. I That's even a great spoke mug. to my brother who had parasites a few years back. Okay. Well, quite a few years back. And he told me of the holistic remedy he took to get rid of his parasites um, because even he told me that, you know, the pills are designed for one specific type of parasite, not for all of them. So... Uh, you know, I looked at all the remedies and everything else. I even looked up holistic remedies on on uh, YouTube. And uh, I was talking to my brother, and I said, you know what? I said, I wonder how these little bastards can handle whiskey. Mm. He says, what do you mean? I said, well, think about it. They metabolize whatever you eat and drink. So maybe if I just get them drunk enough, I've they'll fall off my intestine. I'm not done yet, but your video is cheering me up. Aww. Thanks for the jokes and the knowledge you dropped. Mm -hmm. Other planets that I've created. You're great. Solar system also, well. I'm gonna. If apes still exist, how does this guy know how they should normally behave? Oh, 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 Hans Wormhat? Yeah, well, okay, that's something that I haven't been able to figure out either. That's something that's been bothering me, too. I agree. Um, I, I, I mean, look, honestly, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of answers coming to us because, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is kind of working half the time, but I think I'm going to have to do... 
I'm going to have to log in on this laptop, which is a good thing I have this here. You, you're supposed to be the chosen one. <sighs> Go ahead and load. Load for me, baby. Load for me. Mm. Um, there we go. Okay. And where's recent activity? Recent events. Cool. Let's, uh, let's, let me catch up and see if there's any that I missed. I don't think so. I think we're good. Yeah, we look like we're doing pretty good. All right, cool. I just, I, I hate the idea of somebody like tossing a tip my way and me not seeing it. I would feel like such a piece of shit. So, like, I just wanted to make sure. Sorry about that. So, we're, we were talking about parasites and whiskey. Let's do it. Because <laughs> they attach to the sides inside wall of your intestine. intestine. Maybe not if wrong. I get them drunk, like a person, they won't be able to hold on anymore, and they'll just fall off. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, Thanksgiving came and went. And on Black Friday, I woke up in the morning. I had a couple cups of coffee early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then at 9 o'clock in the morning, I started drinking whiskey. And I drink my whiskey straight. I don't know if you've seen my videos, but I drink As everyone should. Drink it straight out of the bottle. So, instead of drinking it out of the bottle, I went ahead and poured a glass. And I timed myself. I wanted it to take an hour to drink that big glass of whiskey. It was a pretty big glass. It was bigger than my cup. Okay. So, I started drinking. And I didn't want to just get stupid drunk I wanted to uh, why not make it last all day bye Annie so I started drinking and every hour I poured myself another glass of whiskey and I'd sip on it through the whole hour and I kept doing that and I kept doing that and I kept doing that throughout the day by 9 o'clock that night 12 hours later I was lit pretty good <laughs> I was having a pretty good day I bet you were. Um, I bet you were. Anyway, I didn't really see any results other than the fact that um, I wasn't running to the bathroom every four hours or every every 20 minutes anymore. Um, I wasn't uh, looking for a bathroom to make sure there was a bathroom close by when I was outside working and things like that. I did notice those changes. But then yesterday when I woke up, my pants weren't quite as tight. And this morning when I woke up, I could see my feet. <laughs> hey. Here's All right. <clears throat> so, first, we're not going to finish the rest of the video. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what made made my dude here uh, my favorite denture wearer. I don't know what made my dude bloated in the first place. Um, but I will say, uh, having yourself quite a whiskey night can make the next day... Um, <clears throat> very uh evacuating it can especially the type of the quality of bourbon you might be drinking mm. but cheers to you my favorite denture wearer uh just as a pro tip and a safety alert i just i want to make sure everybody i want to make sure everybody knows this this, this is really important <clears throat> okay hi it's tv's jeff holiday um you can't actually cure parasites by getting drunk Showing on whiskey. Showing Oregonian love from my JJ protocol to yours. Lols. <laughs> Lols. Uh, yeah, just want to let... Just, you, can't, you can't get rid of parasites by doing that. Coincidentally, you also can't get rid of parasites by drinking a bunch of salty uh, poopoo water. You know what I just realized, too? I just realized something. Oh, my God. I feel so dumb. Oh my god, hang on, hang on. Ugh. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. I feel so silly. This whole time, this whole time, this whole time we've been doing, how many we, we, got, we have over a thousand live viewers and I embarrass myself like this. I embarrass... I embarrass myself like this. And I forget to do the transition stinger that, that I designed forever ago. Siobhan Boo! Really, I've let myself down. 
Ah, uh, Christ. <clears throat> it really sounded a bit like Ewan McGregor. You know what's really cool? Um, I kind of feel like the older I get, the... I mean, maybe... Look, maybe... And you can, you can call me on it. I won't mind. But the older I get, the more I feel like I'm kind of looking a little bit like Ewan. A little bit. Look, I can dream, can't he? Can't he? It's not too out there, is it? Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very Oh! Well. Hey, Hefe. It's been too long since I caught you on stream. That's right, it I has. Hope all is good with your documentary and all that good shit. Yes. Much love to ya and Mems. It is going great. Much love to you. Larry, thank you so much. Larry's always been a mensch, an absolute mensch, a wonderful human being. I miss you too, buddy. I, mi I miss the show. I miss all of it. I love you. Thank you so much. Very sweet of you. Um, what was I about to do? Oh, yeah. I wanted to make sure I got everything over on this thing. Boop. <laughs> Larry Walter Jr. I just want to read it again. Showing Oregonian love from my JJ protocol to yours. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Oregonians got to stick together. <clears throat> Smoothie 88. Uh, you really sound a little bit like Ewan McGregor. Was there anything else? A la Paz, it's the middle of the night here in Poland, but I have to stay awake and finish working on my diploma. Thanks so much for keeping me company. I am really happy to be here to spend this time with you. That's really sweet. I like that. <sighs> so, uh, in part two of Jeff, Old Man Jeff watches Old Man content. <laughs> Are you serious? I am serious. Are you serious? Paul, Guys, I'm serious. Paul, I'm serious. They have moved the doomsday clock closer to midnight than it's ever been moved before in the history what? of the doomsday clock. Wow. 13 elders. All right. Well, you know, all the way back from the days of Albert Einstein till now, we've never been closer to the doomsday Whoa. than we are now. According wow. To wow. 13 elders and the world scientist community. But why? Well, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. First of all, let me put a shout out right now to healthwithpaul.com. That's www.healthwithpaul.com. Okay. Collagen may be the closest thing we will ever get to the real fountain of youth. What? The older you are, in fact, the more likely it's caught your attention. After all, collagen is the most... Hang on a second. Did, did, he, did he just... Did he just go, like, the name of this video is Doomsday Clock Only 100 Seconds to Midnight. And now we're talking about collagen? What happened? Wait. Abundant protein in your body and is essentially the glue that holds you together. Oh, person fact, glue. People glue. After age 20, people produce about 12% less collagen in their skin each decade. So what? you produce less people so glue. What? So for some, it's even greater decline. Okay. This means by the time you're middle aged like me, you could be producing less than half of the collagen you did in your youth. Even Paul, do, I, do you feel glue deficient lately? Just saying. Worse, various lifestyle factors you may have been exposed to, like poor diet or smoking or pollution or stress or even sun exposure could help enhance this collagen depletion. So, uh, in short, this year by year, escalating loss of collagen is a key reason people look old. No, it isn't. They get what? older. Mm. And that's mm. why that would explain skin sags and wrinkles. Hair gets thinner. Don't. Um, it's okay. First of all, the Homer Simpson thing. No, no, it does. It's the mm. <clears throat> you're about 20 years old, 20 years too late for that joke. Uh, look, uh, there's very specific reasons, uh, why we age and why we get older. Yeah, sure, producing less collagen can be a factor in that for sure, but it's not like, oh, well, our body just stops producing collagen and that's why, uh, uh no, there's a reason why we stop producing collagen. We stop producing lots of shit. Lots of shit. I mean, once, once we've reached our peak sexual maturity, we very slowly start dying. We're all in a state of perpetual De decline um that kind of makes it romantic don't you think i like to think so um but uh, i don't know how this has anything to do with uh doomsday clock only 100 seconds to midnight are you also talking about the doomsday clock in our bodies 
Um, nails lose their strength. Joints become stiff, like when you're trying to play golf. Hmm. Uh, recovery from activity and exercise slows. Digestion-related complaints seem to come out of nowhere. And in general, our bodies just seem to turn on us. So here's some good news. If you go to www.healthwithpaul.com, that's www.healthwithpaul.com, you can find out about a brand new product. Oh, fuck you. We- fuck you, Paul Begley. Kiss my ass. in the chat oh there we go yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we're back now we're back other i don't know why it did that that's so weird well. you know what i'm just gonna stay in here just in case because i'm still hearing seeing people that say no i know it's gonna it's gonna take a second for it to come back i didn't break it look i didn't break it i was not the one to break it it wasn't me it wasn't me type one in the chat if you can hear us they can hear me now i can see it because i can see i have the the i have the mixer right here of everything that's going out i you know what i'm gonna tell you exactly what it is i'm gonna tell you exactly what it is guys now I- yeah, yeah yeah it's working i'm gonna tell you exactly what it is guys my fo- my scarlet focus right 2i2 uh usb audio interface is dying that's the problem that is the actual problem. The thing has served me well for a very long time, but now something about it, it's just wearing out. So I need to get a new mixer, but uh, it's what it is. What did you guys hear last? Now I feel like my whole vibe just got fucked up, man. Didn't it? It just got fucked up. The whole thing got real screwy, real squirreled up. What were we talking about Paul? Because Paul made me real mad. Paul made me mad because as much as I love Paul and I want to be cool with Paul, 
Uh, and I don't mind him, like, doing Doomsday Prophecy. I don't mind him trying to sell supplements. But when you try and, like, bait people in to buy your supplements by being, like, by the world, way the world's ending, you're a dickhead, Paul. It's not cool anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for him to start his Charlie Chaplin impression. But... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I should have. I totally should have. Um, let's see. Well, Rian Stewart says, where I sound. Basat Posa Dist John. Why should we be concerned about this when the nukes fly and we turn into irradiated ghouls? We won't have any collagen left anyway. That's a good point. That's a good point. You can't really give that much of a shit about uh, how old you look when you are irradiated and turn into eternal suffering, uh, glowing undead. Moose Goose, anyways, I have to work at 4.30 a.m. It is 8. Thanks you. Thank you again for helping me save my mom. Well, I don't know if I helped very much, but if uh, I did in any way, uh, I'm glad. Uh, Warlord2080 says... Bubbles, slap hands, slap hans. Vishan, hey Jeff, I love your show and appreciate you for your efforts. My mother's into woo woo and I'd love to share some info with you. Keep up the amazing work. Email me or message me on Discord. Uh, Kelly Montelius, I'm usually able to watch longer of the streams, but I got to sleep. Prepare for work tomorrow. I'm going to watch the video after. Have a good time, folks. Have a good time to you, Kelly. Thank you very much. All right, we got a fun one next. And I got to prepare. <clears throat> Hang on, I got to prepare. It's very important. Uh, don't go far. All right. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can just, we can just do this. I was also one of the almost 7,000 people that went to Garching to experience Bratzel's giving gaze that day. Uh. Dieter Häusler had invited my wife and me. My neck is too fat. And so we drove from Berlin to Munich without actually knowing who Bratzel really was. And then... When I was standing in the meeting room with all those people and Bratzo came onto the stage, I had the feeling that I was one with that man. I had the feeling I had known him for ages. Tears were rolling down my cheeks. I had the feeling he was looking at me the entire time, only at me, through and through. And I had feelings of peace, joy and happiness. And it was as if something inside of me were being set free. I came in and then when, I was, when he first came onto the stage I, and he started looking at the people, I all of a sudden just felt tears. Very, uh, not sad, but just tears and uh, the tears started coming down my face and I was full of emotion and uh, it just came out of nowhere and I'm not the type of person to experience some, something like that. I've never experienced something like that. So this, this, is, a, <clears throat> this is a movie you put out on, on Brazzo's uh, channel. Uh, for those who don't know who Brazzo is, Brazzo is uh, an enlightened super being. Okay, it, just just bear with me here for a second. <clears throat> you see, Brazzo, Brazzo's got this power, right? He's got this power. He comes out on stage and he looks at you. Okay. He looks at you. You got cancer? You got a bad case of the hemorrhoids? Well, Bratza, he comes out and he does this. And bada bing bada boom, your shit's cured. Cured. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. That's Bratzo. And people pay a lot of fucking money to go see this guy. Play. Yes, I was very moved. I had to cry. I have the feeling that there was a great deal set free inside of me. As soon as the music began and I saw him come in, it started right away. And now I feel, I feel such happiness and such joy, and I still feel very moved by it. We're happy that he came to us. We waited for this for so long. I can't even tell you. I'm so happy. 
I, my family, and everyone else. Me too. <laughs> I was in tears. Something inside of me came loose. Something that maybe I hadn't even seen as a burden. This this guy, this look, I saw the behind the scenes deleted footage. This guy stripped down, pulled off his little frilly panties he'd been wearing the whole time, and started swinging them over his fucking head. The motherfucker was dancing. Does this look like a guy? Does this look like a motherfucker who could dance? Uh-uh. Don't think so. How can he dance? Magic of Brazzo. Brazzo made him dance. Brazzo isn't why he wears frilly panties. He just That's just something he likes, which is totally fine. Okay? I don't know what it was, but tears came to my eyes, and I felt relieved. I started crying for no reason at all, and I didn't want to hold it back. I mean, I really let myself go in there. It was pretty intense. It was a very strong inner upheaval, and the tears flowed. Then just a feeling of lightness, joy and happiness. Mm. I lost 90 pounds. I have less stress in my life. That is, my entire outlook you? on life has changed. <laughs> you lost 90 pounds, where'd you lose them? What the fuck? Like, did you walk in? Did you walk in? <laughs> what? What? Did you walk into the fucking hall? 90 pounds heavier and walk out 90 pounds lighter? I fucking doubt, bro. Doubt. I don't think so. What the fuck? This is some bullshit. Oh man. Oh my fucking god. Something inside him came loose, guys. Something inside Dude. <laughs> Listen. <sighs> Whenever I go over to Bratzo's house. Boom! Knock something loose inside of me, you know what I'm fucking saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. It's alright. We're gonna be fine. We got a long ways to go. We're gonna be fine. Everything's everything's okay. <laughs> I don't know how much I want to watch this. Um, let's just go for like another 30 seconds. <laughs> Society and people live with a lot of stress. <laughs> Lots yeah. of people are all hyped up and lose their inner peace. That's me! And I look at it this way. If you go to Brazo, you get back that peace. You don't let yourself get carried off by the current. You stay yourself instead. I'll put it this way. Anyone can lose weight. Anyone. The problem is keeping it off. And thanks to Bratzo, that wasn't a problem. I spoke to Bratzo back then. That was back when he still spoke with us. And he said to me that he would help me. I've been coming to Bratzo since 2002. I was very... 2002. Two Look. Okay. 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 Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get down. Get down. <clears throat> These people have been following around this weird guy for like 18 years, right? And they pay money. Listen. <clears throat> they pay money. Every time they go to see him, they pay money to get in. Okay? 18 years. And then they go in, they all get crowded into like this little hall, right? And then he comes out and then he just looks at him. That's all he does. He just fucking stares at him. That's all he fucking does. He doesn't do anything. He just stares at them. He just gazes. Literally, that's how they sell it. Come and see Brasso. He'll look at you. 18 years. 18 goddamn. You know what? Look. <clears throat> I owe $46,000 in student loans, all right? I am in the wrong line of motherfucking work. I should have been getting into the looking at people business, okay? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. This is ridiculous. This, this is crazy. No, I love you. Don't go anywhere. Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. I need a Brocco stare with the MGS. Why are we here? Just to suffer? <laughs> Meme dubbed over it. Help a brother out. 
Uh, yeah, no, I, I think we can, we, we could definitely make that happen for you, Larry. I will do that personally myself. Next chance I get, I'll, uh, <coughs> we'll, we'll get a, we'll get a slow motion brazo pan with, why are we here? Just to suffer every night. I feel my leg. Some good shit. Okay. Uh, Bad Cujo says, get a button extender. What do you mean a button extender? I have my I have my Elgato. I you can't I maybe you can see it with this one. Hang on. Chibambu. Uh oh no, you can't. So like literally right here, right here is a fucking ladder leaning up against the wall, and my Elgato stream deck is painter's tape taped to the fucking ladder. <laughs> like <laughs> I mean Look, the the results speak for themselves. I I think everything is working swimmingly right now. I think everything is great. I am very very in a positive mindset right now. Um, Blaze and Blaze says, "Love your channel. I've been watching you for the past four to five years. Keep it up. The videos make my day better." Ooh, well, let me just say I apologize deeply for my previous content. Um, but you know, we all we all have to uh, make some cringe before we make some gold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. I think that's it. I think we're caught up. Yeah. We're caught up. What's next? Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, this is next. Shalom and blessings to everyone. I just want to share that. Share with y'all that last night... At 10 o'clock, I put black salve on my lip. And as you can see, it's after absorbing into it, so it proves that it is cancerous. The pain is excruciating. It's constant. And it's all of a sudden, you can, I can feel it right now, just tingling inside of it, just drawing everything back, drying it all up. That's why when it's ready, after a couple of days, the lump will just fall out. Now there will be a concave inside of my lip. But I you know, much like uh, a, a black cell of Eskar after uh, I have been properly sauced uh, for two or three days, I tend to just fall out as well. If I just, look, I'm, I'm, I'm on the spot here, okay? I watched some amazing videos on how our Father in Heaven created our beautiful bodies that they knit back together over time and they fill back in the hole and it just comes back perfect. Praise his holy name. So, I had ordered Black Salve last week and it came from Alpha and Omega Labs in America to ship from El Salvador or Ecuador or something like that. And last night, my wife, who is a nurse... My wife? And obviously... She's concerned about what I put on my body and everything. I'm concerned and too, she bro. She read the whole pamphlet and I did too. And she was pretty, pretty, pretty sure about the substance being okay to put on. So we put it on last night. I put some hydrogen peroxide on first just to clean it and then put it on. Just a little tiny dab over the scab area. And I could feel it within minutes starting to draw into it. And this is what they said, if it's cancerous, it will just draw into it. But except, 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 we got a problem here. Uh, and the pro like, for the, for those of you guys who have been watching my channel for a while, then you've, you've already seen, like, my, my blood root black salve, uh, content. Um, I haven't done... Another one in a while. Uh, there's not really a whole lot more to say. I mean, it's it's pretty thorough. Uh, I could just like rehash a bunch of stuff, which maybe maybe is would be appropriate to do at this point. I don't know, but uh, look, <clears throat> let's touch on it again one more one more time for those who didn't didn't see it before. This is wrong. This 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 whole stuff that he's doing to his mouthy right here. This this is it's not good. It's not good. Uh, <clears throat> Bloodroot is an escharotic. It doesn't care what kind of uh, human tissues it comes into contact with. It will 
burn it and dissolve it and start to form deep eschars or these weird hard little fucking nasty scab things. It doesn't care. The, the idea that it only reacts to cancer cells is a myth that has literally never been backed up by any science ever in the history of anything. So there's there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But but you, dear sir, have been taken in with a bunch of bullshit. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. It, like biologically speaking, you have to have a way in which things happen. Like your knee flexes because of tendons and because of muscles. We understand how that works, right? We can figure that out. There's biomechanical -me uh, ways in which we can describe how this shit works. We can't describe any way in which blood root would actually target only unhealthy uh, cells. None. So unless blood root <laughs> is like intelligent, uh, it can't do it. I'm sorry. So yes, no, please, for the love of all fuck, if you know anybody who tries to do black cell or blood root, stop them immediately. Um, go, don't, don't send them my video. Send them Miles Powers video. Miles Powers video on it is a little bit more comprehensive than mine. But uh, yeah, don't, please don't. It's bad. Shvambu! <clears throat> I know there's a burning question in everybody's minds tonight. <clears throat> Jeff, where's the P? It's at the end. Uh, <laughs> Schlegman218, can you give a shout out to my girlfriend, Jen, who loves us as much as I do? Hi, Jen. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad you're here. Uh, also, can you say choodle pants? Uh, good feels to you and Mems. <clears throat> Choodle pants. What's next? Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to do this guy. We're skipping him. Yeah, let's do this one. This is good. <laughs> let's do this one. This one's great. All right, let's go. Sometimes God has plans. The Bible unfolds that wonderful plan in the message of the prophecy. God sent Jesus into the world to be our Savior and that Christ... Apologize if I blew your eardrums out there for a second. I I knew as soon as I hit it, I was like, ah, I need to like squish that down a little bit. Returning someday soon, so unfold the wonderful plan of returning for my life and your life. And as long as you're cooperating with God, accepting Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, and as our Lord does return in the coming seven days. The Spirit of the Lord will not dwell with men forever. Yo, 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 what's poppin' with the population? What's pimpulating, homie? You're now tuned into another installment of Masonic Entertainment Industry. Exposed. In today's installment, we are going to be talking about the first Purge movie. More specifically, just the Purge in general. And what does that word mean, actually? It means to get rid of whatever is impure or undesirable. Clan just, to, just as a point, uh, this is not a newer one, but I wanted to introduce you guys to a new wingnut that I found. Uh, this wingnut is doo -doo -doo -doo, God's son. He's a, uh, well, you'll see. Uh, but he's making a video about the first Purge movie, which I don't remember when exactly that came out. It was a long time ago, but this movie came out in 2018. It's purified to red, clear, or free of. So this is what I want each and every one of you to notice. Like, this is going to be a video that is 100% discussion. I know for a fact that the movie itself, The First Purge, is plastered with all kind of symbolism and things of that nature. Unfortunately, well, not even unfortunately. Fortunately enough for me, I had not even took it upon myself to go and see it. Rightfully so, because for one, I'm not going to support Hollywood anymore and the entertainment industry as far as what they are all about and what we know them to be about. Change my mind. But what I am going to be talking about is the fact that the purge is what it is, a purge. It's going to be a cleansing of human beings. This is literally a metaphor for the coming New World Order, because if you guys had not noticed, they got some stones called the Georgia Guidestones, the American Stonehenge, so to speak. And on those stones, and I've already made a video about it, I'm gonna leave it linked up, 
so that you could go see it. They want to reduce the world's population to at least in perpetuation <laughs> 500 million, something to that effect. And what is the population? You and I, your immediate family, your kids. We already know that there are I six think, billion to. Thanks. I, I didn't. I didn't know what the definition of population actually was. Um, <clears throat> there was. There was just a weird like uh, 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 cue there. Like uh, they want. They want to get the population down to uh, half a billion. And what is the population? Uh, over 7 billion? No, it's you and your family. Oh, okay, all right, well, whatever, all right, fine. 7 billion people roaming the earth right now, and they want to rid the earth of diseases and famine. And also, if you could jog your memory and remember back in the past with MTV when they had promoted or ran a campaign to get rid of AIDS by the year 2020. So by the year 2025 or even 2030, this new world order, as far as the FEMA camps that they... Yo, can we just give a shout out to all those hardcore fucking researchers that are damn near getting close to eradicating AIDS? Like, what the fuck? Don't don't be throwing no fucking shade, man. Like, I we're thought close. Our Stonehenge was made of cars. <laughs> I fuck. I wish I could like. I wish I could just real quick bring up a picture of that. I know what you're talking about. Go go Google it. Yeah. Um. No, that's that's fucking funny. But, like, we should have some respect about the fact that we're getting rid of AIDS. That's fucking cool, man. Like, it's, uh, people who are like, we were supposed to get rid of it by now. We uh, were close. Also, shout out to my boy, Teddy Rubskin. What's up, Teddy? How you doing, boy? All right, let's go. They are going to put us in because ultimately that is the end game. That is going to be the end game. They are going to chip us with RFID chips. We already got them in our cell phones and our passports tracking us. People even put them in their pets. So they will inevitably have them on a mandatory level in our hands. And they will lead us off into FEMA camps. This is going to be even more detrimental as far as what was experienced at uh, Auschwitz with the Holocaust. This is... Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so, so let me let me try and get this straight. Uh, because uh, RFID is theorized that it's going to be put into people, which, I mean, look, <clears throat> I have a, a, a global audience. I have uh, an international audience. But for my American friendos, can you imagine what it would be like? Us, with our love of guns, which I'm a gun nut too, I'm a liberal gun nut, figure that fucking one out. Uh, if the government was like, hey, we're going to forcibly implant you with something, how well does anybody think that's going to work? Why is it that all these wingnuts are trying to sell people on this idea that the government could ever forcibly inject tracking devices inside of us? Do you have any idea how many guns we have? Come the fuck on. Oh my God. It's just preposterous. Holy shit. Is going to be because technology is so much so up there that they can literally start this at any minute. And I'm pretty sure that many of you had heard about the freight trains around America carrying military equipment to even vehicles, Humvees, so tanks, what? and so even what? the caskets to then be placed in the FEMA camps, and Texas is a hot zone. <laughs> so at the same- Wait, 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 the, the caskets to be put inside the FEMA camps. Well, okay, let me, let, let's think about this one as well. Uh, if you're trying to say like there's a depopulation scheme going on, why would they bother putting bodies in caskets? That's a horrible waste of space. Why don't you just throw them into giant incinerators? It doesn't make any fucking sense. You see, it's going to be like the Holocaust, but worse. Uh, except they're going to be truly respectful of the dead and make sure they get their last rites and be put into caskets, actually. Suck my fucking dick. What? Shut up. Shut the fuck. Mm -mm. No. All right, a little bit more. Same time, this is what you need to understand. We also got GMOs, genetically oh. modified organisms in the foods, and farmers are mandatorily told to spray uh, their crops with pesticide, which pesticide is what? It's poison. Why? Because it kills bugs, preventing them from damaging the crops. And then after, the farmers ship the vegetables and whatever that they have growing on the farm to grocery stores at a cheap price. 
Why do you think that whole food markets are more expensive than regular grocery stores? Because that's where the actual food that is healthy for you are at. But many of us, we cannot afford it. Why? Uh, so <laughs> that shit takes me way back. Back in the day when I was arguing the anti-GMO stuff quite a bit. Does anybody have any idea how much pesticide is actually sprayed in organic crops? A lot. A whole lot. All that whole thing where you're like, well, I would rather eat organic because I don't want to eat a bunch of pesticides. I understand the impulse. I totally understand where you're coming from. I really do. People who are like, I really don't want to eat a bunch of pesticides, so I want to eat organic. That's a totally understandable point of view to take. Whether it's valid or not scientifically is irrelevant. It's an understandable argument, okay? Problem is, uh, if you eat organic food, more than likely you are still eating pesticides because there is such a thing as organic pesticides. And by and large, most organic pesticides are vastly more toxic than synthetic. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, not something they tell you very often at uh, Whole Foods, do they? Whoops. <clears throat> because Look it up. They, Look the it government up. have us Look it up. in a system to hold us down and not wanting to be entrepreneurs or even earn money to not live the American dream, but at least to know that we could make a, a, a better informed decision as far as the food that we induce. I'm getting high <sighs> listening to this, dude. We got dude. the cell phones emitting radiation, oh, which yeah. we already know. Radiation, oh, yeah. once you hold the phone long enough to your brain, it'll eventually, in the future, not now, give you brain tumor, oh, yeah. cancer, and we also got... L -l 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 not now, not now, but in the future. When you're 88 years old, you're going to get cancer in your brain from all that cell phone radiation. Ah, oh shit, fuck me. Guys, watch out. The 5G towers emitting radiation and beaming at our brain's psyche, manipulating us. I digress. But before all these things take place, people will arrest you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. I want to thank like you for music, watching dude. another installment of Masonic Entertainment Industry Exposed. Exposed. Okay, look. Uh, that was some... Uh, I, I will give this to... What's this fucking name again? Hang on. What's this fucking guy? Shit. Godson. I'll give this one to Godson. That was some entertaining shit. That was fucking great. I love the music. I love the fucking bops and shit, man. Like, I'm, I'm into it. That's cool. I like that. Makes me happy. Masonic Industries exposed. Horror Fanatic 51, thank you very much uh, for the donation. Appreciate you. All right. uh, do we want to watch this one? I don't know. What's next? Oh, God. I kind of want to watch this one, but I kind of don't. You know, okay. We're gonna we're gonna give this just a couple of minutes. I, I don't want to I don't want to stay on this one at all at all. But I <laughs> I was really entranced by this uh, for my own reason. Also, sometimes I wonder if Jeff leaves a curse in the middle of the screen on purpose. No, I I'm I'm trying to like make sure I get the cursor off people's faces. Uh, so this is from Mason Your Face. This is the second channel of the Detox Dudes. Um, this is him talking to. Look, okay, there's a reason why I wanted to do this video. Um, <clears throat> okay, what I what I want you what I want you to do, I want you to to look at this 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 title: no fat, semen retention, no ejaculation. I want you to memorize this face, memorize this face. Okay, we're gonna just gonna watch it just a little bit. Hey everybody, welcome to Anarchast, your home for anarchy on the internet. I've got a multiple returning guest coming on. It's Josh Mason of Detox Dudes. He also has a new YouTube channel called Face in Your Mason or something. <laughs> Mason Your Face. Mason Your Face. <laughs> and, uh, mm. He's been put out lots of great stuff. And um, I've actually been getting into <laughs> over the last couple of years. And this is like not really a, a family-friendly show. We're going to be talking about masturbation and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, I've been... Uh, I, I actually didn't know my entire life anything about how it's kind of not good to be masturbating all the time. It just it never occurred to me. I just grew up watching a lot of porn. Uh, I used a lot of that stuff to kind of relax, you know, the the stress of, of those sort of things. And sure. uh, it was a couple of years ago that I forget who it was. I don't think it was Josh, but it could have been. 
that I came across this idea of no fap. And uh, once I started reading into it, uh, reading about it, started realizing like porn's really bad for you, especially your brain and you know how you, you know, it just, it, it's not good for you to be watching that all the time. Uh, and then- um... Why? Why? I mean, like, I, okay. Uh, <clears throat> thinking about it objectively. And, and you know what? What's really fucking gross? What's really gross? Even grosser than the NoFat movement? is how often I think about the nofap movement. <laughs> like I think about I think about these guys more than I think about whether or not I should jack off myself. I mean, I jack off all the fucking time, whatever, you know. Like I'm a normal human being. I I think most people probably should. It's probably for the best. Um but I think about these guys more than I give any thought to that whatsoever because they're so I mean, look. <clears throat> I just look just let's just listen for a little bit masturbating to porn uh and that sort of a thing so i really got into that over the last year i've probably done it a couple times because i've been a little weak a couple times but other than that like i try as hard as possible not to do it and then i saw josh uh, just put out a few new videos on semen retention mm. and i actually started hearing this term no not november uh, i don't know who started that i looked it up it was just a reddit thread in 2011 and it kind of caught on a little bit um and i had never heard this before <sighs> Well, I had in, in one okay. sense. I heard about, uh, I read a book about uh, multi-orgasmic man and stuff like that, where you essentially orgasm, but you don't ejaculate. But I'd never heard the idea that you just don't even orgasm whatsoever and you... <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> the big purple man is right. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't pretend. I can't. I'm sorry. Phew. So glad you let us know that the video wasn't family friendly. <laughs> uh, you know, f thank fucking God. Thank, thank God. <laughs> I've never, look, I, I, I've looked at this quite a bit, quite a bit. I've looked into it quite a bit. Um, I have never found anything in specific uh, that denotes that the NoFap movement is a positive movement or something that you really need to be looking at. There is such a thing as uh, porn addiction. You can be addicted to masturbating or porn to the point where uh, you forego healthy relationships with other people or even getting out and doing things. You'd rather stay home and jack off. Like, that's that's true, but that could be the same for, like, Magic the Gathering, or World of Warcraft, or literally fucking anything. It's not just porn. It's not just porn. It's anything. It's addictive behaviors. You, we, we as grown adults have to find ways in which to mitigate our participation in those things that we like, our vices, and our ability to interact with the world. You can't just be like, well, the problem is porn. No, the problem, motherfucker, is you! The problem is you. What you should do if porn is becoming a problem in your life, take a break. Take a break. Stop looking at porn. But it doesn't mean you need to turn to some fucking weirdo crusader who's like, fellas, what we have to do is destroy the porn. Shut up. It's so dumb. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, the, big, the big purple man, uh, look, he... I was going to make a big point of, like, pointing out to his face at the beginning, and doesn't this look like a dude who uh, never orgasms? Um, but then I realized how mean it would be, and I just kind of decided I didn't want to do that anymore. Yep. <laughs> just saying, man. Just be just be healthy with your choices, okay? Like, their they're life... Life is a is a beautiful menagerie, and there's so many beautiful things to experience. Uh, you don't want to be getting caught up in things so much so that you miss out on other stuff. And that's really the problem with addiction. And it doesn't even matter what it is. It could be drugs. It could be behaviors. It could be things that you consume. It could be things that consume you. Who knows? 
Uh, but that's the thing. That's the nature of, of addiction is if you cannot experience life to its fullest because you have to facilitate the engagement of your behavior towards the thing that you're addicted to, then you're addicted. Simple as that. Break your addiction. Enjoy life. That's what you should do. <clears throat> Mickey Figgy says, I don't want to stop looking at porn, damn it. Don't stop looking at porn. Don't. 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 There's too much of, you know what the thing is? There's too much of a stigma on porn as well. There's too much of a stigma. We don't even want to think about it. We don't even want to talk about it. But there's like really shitty things that do happen in the porn world. And it's not that we should stop porn. It's that we should be more open to talk about it to make sure that that really shitty practices don't happen. We need to destigmatize these types of things. We need to be free to talk about them and be like, if this is going to be part of our society, we got to make sure nobody's being abused while it's happening, right? Right? Am I crazy? This doesn't seem revolutionary, guys. Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go. Fuck, uh, dude. I'm so excited. Let's go. I'm so happy. Holy shit. Here we go. Mm. Yes. This is going to be one of the hardest videos I have ever had to make. Hey, guys, what's up? So I just want to do a quick thing. Okay, I, I'm gonna let you guys in on, on a little secret. It's not a secret because I'm telling you right now. Um, I had to spend like 10, 12 minutes straight just trying to get the audio fixed on this piece of shit fucking video. It is so bad. I just wanna say this video is not intended to scare people or okay. sound scary or anything like that. Um, MK Ultra is a real CIA program and this is literally just to expose what trauma-based mind control is and all of these CIA, CIA documents have been declassified and leaked so this is all public information and then I'm gonna basically relate it to celebrities and I also just want to say that you don't have to be famous to have undergone any type of trauma-based mind control as the occult is wide the occult is huge and there are many um, demonic entities out there. There's many factions, many things. So just want to say that. And extremely. Uh, you know what? It's 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 both stunning. It's both stunning and it's brave that Miegan X Rose uh, took that very hard line stance. So thank you very much, Miegan X Rose. It's hard for people to believe, and it's gonna make me sound absolutely whack, and it's gonna make me sound crazy. And the thing is, I don't care, and I care more about getting the information out. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, on my life, that I'm not lying about this. Bunny, I'm talk about Bunny, what MK Ultra Monarch Mind Control programming really is. Yes. And what is MK Ultra Monarch Mind Control? So basically, MK Ultra, um, it was done in the 1960s. What's popularized and what people know about is, are the declassified CIA documents that talk about how LSD, lysergic acid, was tested on random people to see how they would react to drugs. J joint hearing slip can you have a time Soviet war Whatever, when we fine. were trying to figure out how to mind control people and we thought that we could do it with drugs and we were trying to create the perfect spy. And what that would do is get us intel on Russia and get us intel for the war and give us an edge, basically. So sure. Sure. what happened was yeah. there were certain scientists and certain psychologists who used certain types of drugs and certain types of psychological techniques to mind control people and to try and break the human psyche. And they did horrible, horrible things, horrible experiments and... What they did is they found that when someone is under extreme stress and extreme duress at a very young age, when their sense of self is not psychologically um, solidified yet, they can get their ego and they can get their personality to break into thousands of pieces. And this is symbolized in MK Ultra by the breaking of the mirror um, you see that a lot in music videos of people who the, the mirror is broken. That basically means their mind is fragmented. That's what. Okay, so <clears throat> one one reason why I really like to watch these videos by Miegan X Rose um, is you can kind of see her being like the baby bunny of uh, conspiracy YouTube. Like she's just finally starting to get into it. Like right now, she's like. 
I want to make sure everybody is aware of what MK Ultra is. We all know. Megan, Megan. <clears throat> we all know what MK Ultra is. It was real. It was declassified. It's totally fine. Um, the the real fun part of MK Ultra is when people are like, "It was a brainwashing thing." And actually, it was a big waste of fucking money where they got a bunch of people real high, real high, and probably emotionally shattered and damaged quite a few people. But whatever. Um, but the way she talks is like proto all of those like everything's connected man and it's really wild to watch this represents I found out that there is a certain amount of trauma that will kill someone but before that point they somebody's asking how i found this because it, it says unlisted this is me taking her video that I've fixing the audio and well. re-uploading it the barney man told me prawn is bad is it bad how about the video games it bad to fill the void with things I love, Barney. <sighs> so that's Silver Fangia. Silver Fangia has been, uh, been an absolute <laughs> sweetheart lately. Is it just me or does she sound like someone talking who just got numbed by a dentist? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's uh, let's uh, let's let's do this proper. Let's do this proper. Um, is that? Is my phone making chirping sounds? Do you guys hear my phone making chirping sounds? If so, I'm going to have to go mute it. Um, is porn bad? Of course porn isn't bad. Porn isn't bad as long as it's ethically made. Then And everybody's consenting and it's fine. You know, people have paid a fair wage. How about the video games? Video games are amazing. Video games, we stand. Listen, <clears throat> if there are three things that I give a shit about in my life, it's... Trans rights, gun rights, and video games for everybody. All right? Everything else could just kiss my fucking ass. Did you hear what Jeff Holiday just said? Which one? I. Which one? <laughs> All right, anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> if you're not confused, you're not paying attention. Um, is it just me or does she sound like someone who's talking who just got numb by a dentist? You know what? Megan is a beautiful young lady who's just trying to share her information with the world, okay? They can do it to the point where all that happens is they go psycho, they lose their mind, but not completely. Like they're still intelligent and they're still able to act as a human being. And what they realized is they can utilize the mind into these sections and they can make different personalities into each section. So for instance, someone might have a personality where they fluently know German, they believe they were raised in Germany and they're German. And what that did is they realized they could create the perfect spy because they could give them information and no matter what, no matter what torture or trauma, if they were um, penalized and caught, they would never speak on that trauma because it would be in a different part of their mind and they couldn't even access it. The only person who would access that part of their mind would be their handler or the programmer. And the handler is the one who pulls all the strings. And the handler is usually someone who, who, who programs the person. Yes, yeah, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy okay, Ghost. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look, look. Uh, somebody else is like, whoa, whoa, you don't stand no animal rights? Listen. I'm just now coming to terms with my identity, okay? You just, you, you have to be patient with me. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Anyway, what's next? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. All right. So... <laughs> I'm in a really good mood. I hope you guys are feeling great, man. I feel so, so good. Uh, I actually think, like, we're halfway through the roundup at this point. And I feel really, really good. The ability to, like, stand up and kind of just do a little bit of physical humor, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, really does make all the difference for me. I like it. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. It's good. Oh, no, but I'm looking at the preview, and you can totally see my fucking bear. Dude, I've been trying so hard to get rid of this bear belly, but I'm I'm up here like a big fatty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jeff Holiday says trans rights. Trans rights! Fucking A, dude. Whatever. That's, I mean, 
Everybody should be happy. If a, if a little bit of courtesy from everybody makes people who otherwise weren't happy happy, then just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Come on. My bit toward the Behringer Xenix Q802 USB. You beat me. Usually you've taken a pee pee break by now, and I gotta. I really gotta. I blame Donnie. Yeah, by now I usually have taken a piss break, but like, I feel great. It's because I'm standing up. I'm moving around, man. Like, and I'm not. I, I'm not drinking as hard. Like, look at how much. Look at how much fucking wine I still have left in this fucking thing. By now, usually if I was sitting down, it would be like at like a third of this fucking bottle. I'm just having too much fun doing it, right? By the way, that is actually what I'm trying to uh, to save up some money for is the Behringer Xenix Q802 USB audio interface because the, the the audio problems we had earlier with the focus right, gotta replace it. Let's just talk about that instead of my uh, <clears throat> girth. Playing? Oh, you're supposed to play when I tap you, you fuck. Sorry. Welcome, everyone. Dr. Mandel here. All right. There are three things that you need to do every single morning when you arise. That's right. When you're sleeping for six to eight hours, those muscles within your face are doing nothing but resting. I gotta hide my big there fat belly. There are 43 muscles in your face. And you can see this miraculous complexity throughout all those different muscles. Those muscles in your face are much more complex than we can imagine. Okay. So there's always communication between those muscles and the brain. Those muscles are sending sensory impulses back uh, two things, two things. Number one, after this, uh, my beautiful wife is going to have to take over for the next video. But we, we have a ways until we'll get there. Just letting you know, memory. Uh, but also, number two, um, we're going to do the exercises that Dr. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Mandel says. Um, if any one of you live viewers out there do not do one of the do these exercises, the whole stream is going to stop. I don't make the fucking rules. You all have to participate. We all have to do it live. And if you were one of those people watching in the future and you don't do it, the stream will stop. You don't want the stream to stop. You want to figure out where the fuck everything's going to go. We haven't even hit the piss videos. Those are way off in the end of it. You're not going to see them unless you do with the goddamn face exit. Let's go. Back to the brain. As the brain is then sending motor impulses back to the muscles. So there must always be communication between those muscles in your face and the brain. Okay. So imagine that when you're sleeping and someone comes up to you and says, come on, get up. Look what they're doing. My God, he's, ab you. he's absolutely That's right. That's gonna be one of our exercises, which I'm about to show you. So the best thing that we can do for those facial muscles when you okay. first arise in the morning <clears throat> is to stimulate them. They've been sleeping. By stimulating them, this will help the body's collagen production to allow your skin to look plump and beautiful and to... Ladies, fellas, we know all about collagen. Uh, Dr. Paul, Dr. Paul, Paul Begley was telling us all about it. It's uh, without collagen production, we move closer to the doomsday clock. Prevent those wrinkles. What's even more exciting, by stimulating those muscles first thing in the morning, we are stimulating neurochemicals within the brain. That's oh. going to stimulate those glands and organs throughout your body. I'm, so you can feel that surge. I'm all about stimulating, stimulating uh, chemicals and organs, okay? Surge of energy so you can have a productive day. Ladies. So let me show you how simple and effective this technique is. We're going to use the open part of our palms, <clears throat> both of them, and we're going to put them over our eyes. Don't do it yet, please. Watch me for a second. And while we put it over our eyes, we're going to rub it in circular motions like this as we feel friction around the eyes. Like down and Do not out. not push on the eyeball down and out. at all. Okay. And you're okay. not going to push real hard. Okay. It's okay. a subtle stimulating movement in a circular motion like this. Uh huh. Stimulating those nerves yeah. around the eyes okay. as well as behind the eyes. Oh, oh. We are connecting with the brain. Yeah, I we'll feel put the it connection. Over our eyes. Uh huh. And we'll do this. 
for about 15 seconds. Okay. He's stimulated. I'm stimulated. Now think about the first thing a baby does when he wakes up. He, he rubs his eyes. Pisses and shits and... This is an oh, innate shit. thing that Ugh. we're going to do to help stimulate the brain. I'm you stimulated. And after stimulating your eyes, you'll feel this tingling sensation. I do. Kind of a, a waking up sensation. He's absolutely that right. That hyperemia, that increased blood supply. <sighs> that feels quite nice. And now we're going to stimulate no the complaints. Ears. The same contact with our hands... And we're going to go in circles, 15, 20 seconds, by stimulating the auditory nerve as well as other nerves that communicate. I don't know if it's going to work good brain. with the headphones, but I'll try it. So as we move our hands in that circular motion, you're going to hear that whooshing noise, which is going to cause that stimulation back to the brain. Okay. So let's go 15, 20 seconds. Okay. You feel that whoa, 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 whooshing sound. I know it sounds you, quite funny. It does. You better be doing this, live studio audience, 15, you fucks. Seconds. Do it. And release. Uh, do and it. Just feel and experience We're all what's in this going together. on right now. We're all in this together right now. You and me. That tingling sensation. Okay. okay. That awakening sensation. I'm, t dude, I'm tingling. I'm tingling. the top of I'm the tingling. Cake. I'm it's going it. to bring everything together okay. as we slap on our face. It's indirectly tapping, but instead of using our fingertips, I want you to use this part of our hands. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to tap, and don't be afraid to tap. <sighs> fucking Because cocksucker. this will stimulate all that blood supply in the area. Just like you're waking yourself uh, uh, up. Uh, okay? Uh, you're going to do that 15, 20 seconds. Uh, Don't be afraid uh, to tap. Get in there, cha. slap on it. Uh, uh, Even on the neck area. Uh, fucking now, just pause a second. Within seconds, you should feel shame sensation. <laughs> Everyone's going to feel something a little different, but you have done wonders for your body. So I challenge every one of you to do this technique every morning. It may look elementary, oh, but it's fuck. quite powerful. Oh, no. Not only no. to help your skin, prevent wrinkles, and increase mm. collagen within your face, as well as to give you that plumped look within your skin, that glowing... Listen, after doing that, I feel plenty plump, okay? It's totally fine. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Enough of that. Listen, I don't make the fucking rules, okay? You saw... Look. You... Oh, yeah, that's the other screen. You sign up to do the wingnut roundup, you gotta participate. Them's the fucking rules. You don't like it, hot rod? You don't like it? Tough stuff? You don't like it? Too fucking bad. If you can't handle the road, get off on the next exit, okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, that was a fucking nightmare. Um, <clears throat> it's about time for uh, for us to switch gears. And uh, you guys are going to watch a video with memory about Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, little... Well, that was disappointingly tame exercise. Tame exercise? Well, look. <clears throat> we have to keep things PG. This is YouTube, after all. We're not on Plex Storm. Which, I can't wait for the hundreds of people being like, Let's Google Plex Storm. What's Plex Storm? You're welcome. It's weird. <laughs> it's real weird. Um... Little ball of Steph, hello from Australia. Well, hello, hello. I hope your country stops burning soon because you have a beautiful country and I'd like to visit it soon. Uh, randomness, you're going to make my boss think I'm listening to porn? Ah! Tony Dex says, thanks to you and the good info you put out, I start chemo tomorrow. It is uh, my uh, absolute hope that everything goes fantastically well for you. Um, my heart goes out with you. 
Um, it's it's a brutal journey. It's a very brutal journey. But uh, at the same time, if you if you've taken steps to have a really good support structure, uh, if you take the steps for a lot of self care, um, to try and mitigate stress, to try and 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 love life, uh, then you will have the absolute most important keys uh, to success. And I wish you the absolute best okay. and all my love to you. Okay, all my love. I'm coming over there. Huh? I'm coming over there. You should come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. All right. <clears throat> here comes memory. I don't, I don't want to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. I have my own wine. You have your own wine? I do. My own wine. My own wine. Which camera is it? Is that one? Mm. Can I have my glasses? Uh, your glasses are right here. Cool. The camera is that one right there? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a touch screen, so you actually have to touch right there. But I have it already moved towards the mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's you're gonna good. you're gonna have a real good time. I know it's good because I picked it out. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. And hey, can we get can we get some big ups in the chat for for Mems? Mems found like five or six legendary great fucking videos that we're watching tonight, and I was really, up I was up until ten thirty just looking at videos for you. It means the world to me though because like for me I I have avenues that I always go to. And I was getting really depressed because I'm like, I need new shit. And then you found some of the best stuff <laughs> that we've been watching so far and that we're going to watch tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to go pee. I'm real excited about this one. So Memory's going to watch some Reiki with you guys. You guys have fun. Where's the chat? Oh, there's the chat. Yeah, I yeah. should put my glasses on so I can read it. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Go pee. That. So I know Jeff was shilling his cheap... What's he drinking? Bella Sara Pinot Grigio. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shill uh some random wine I got on the Oregon coast. It's like it's called Dog Gone Wine. Dog Gone Wine is the brand. And this is their Basset Hound Blackberry. Uh which is really, really good. It's really yummy. Okay. Alright. You guys ready for some you guys ready for some Reiki ASMR? Okay. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know what Reiki is, um, Reiki... Reiki is basically where you pay someone to act like your sibling, your younger sibling, and they stand over you and say, I'm not touching you. I'm healing you, but I'm not touching you. <laughs> that's, that's Reiki. <laughs> Is it supposed to be sexual? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I don't see. It's an essential oil bottle, but I don't see any liquid in the container at all. Do you guys? I don't think there's any liquid in that. I think she's just making noises with it because it's Reiki ASMR. Reiki ASMR. Drink every time you feel uncomfortable in this video. Her tattoos are really cool, though.
is I I don't know how I feel about that sound. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah! Is she literally saying tap, 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 tap? Tap, 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 tap. I gotta plug in. I wanna hear these. I think she's going tap, 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 tap. <laughs> yeah, she totally is. She's saying tap, 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 tap while she's tapping it. He died of boredom. I mean, I really like her tattoos. She's got very pretty tattoos. Mm -hmm. She does. She has very nice ink. She's very... <laughs> she's very pretty. Uh, I mean, she's okay, I guess. She's alright. But... I... This this, someone paid her to have her say like just go over, like. I, the only way I can describe Reiki is literally like your your sibling going. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching I'm you. I'm not touching you. I'm making you feel better, but I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Hey Jeff. Hey Jeff. I feel healed. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not going to heal you. <laughs> You're not going to give me the gaze? I gave oh, you the Bratza gaze? I gave, I gave you the, the Bratza gaze. I gave you the wave. I'll give you the Bratza gaze. This is a Bratza gaze. <laughs> that looks like you're about to fart. Don't do that. I might. I might. <laughs> don't do that. There's no rules on the roundup, baby. <laughs> I'm a renegade. I'm a loose cannon. You don't know what I'm going to do next. All Everything's right. going to go crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I'm we're sorry. Gonna, we're going to skip forward a little bit to, like, my favorite part. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that one's good. The chopsticks are good. Yeah, but that's not the part I wanted. Um, I think the part I wanted was back there. Oh, the the, the swish swish? N no, I was going to... It was the this one. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't remember the timestamp. I haven't actually tried this one yet. Yes, you have. Have I? Mm -hmm. It's good. Well, it's from Salem, Oregon. Yeah. They have a bunch of different wines. Oh. I was going to redo my hair, but I didn't even look at it. Does my hair look fucked up? No. No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Either my hemorrhoids are shrinking or my asshole is puckering violently right now. I don't know which. <laughs> you can't feel that? This is how we make love now. <laughs> Bye. Did you? Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Why is there like, there's like a fucking mysterious man in the... I accidentally hit next the next video button. Oh my god, that dude is creeping me the fuck out. <laughs> who is that? It's who's, just... Who, who's is this Mormon? <laughs> who's is this Mormon? That's, that's the spirit animal of Reiki. Where do he come from? Okay, get out of here. I love you. Thank you so much for letting me pee. I appreciate it. You I love you. You can also continue to borrow my glasses, but just don't break them. Uh, I'm trying not to, unless it gets, like, critical, then I might borrow them again. But, yeah, I gotta get my own glasses. I think it's official. I'm old and gross and crusty. Pass me my sombrero. My sombrero. Actually, don't do that. I shouldn't put a, I shouldn't wear a sombrero. Actually, yes, hand it to me. We're gonna wear, we're gonna wear the sombrero for one video. Buenos dias. This is not a sombrero themed video, so I don't know why I'm gonna wear the sombrero for this one. Uh, 
full disclosure, I can get away with wearing this because uh, my mom was gifted this sombrero <laughs> by actual uh, Mexicans. That's why it's okay. <laughs> That's actually totally true. That is 100% true. Um, so take it up with them. And also, I don't know if anybody's noticed or not, but I'm kind of addicted to being canceled by people being like, Jeff Holiday, how dare you? And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Please cancel me harder. Um, let's see. <laughs> what do we got next? Uh, <clears throat> Sierra Larson says, hooray, I didn't miss the entire live stream. I had to go to an event at my kid's school. We missed the start. Love you, Dr. Daddy, Jeff, and Mems. Look. <clears throat> You just got here in time for siesta, all right? And uh, we're we're gonna watch an amazing video about the dangers of Wi-Fi. Anytime now. Hello, friends. Neil here. EMF Hi, Neil. Safety Zone. Hey, Neil. How you doing, Neil? I'm gonna attempt to show you what most of us are exposing ourselves to on a daily basis. Right. At our computer workstations. Hmm. All right, this is my desk where I work. And I purposely turned my my modem here, my AT&T Uverse modem, right, with the wireless function on. And so, here's an acoustometer. Okay, first of all, I think my sombrero is on too tight cuz it's prohibiting me from actually being able to think critically. So as much as I love and respect all Mexicans and their Mexican culture, which by the way, Mexicans don't wear sombreros like that. It's that's not a that's not actually a thing. Um, <clears throat> I have to toss that away. So let's 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 make sure we understand this video, okay? Um, this guy intentionally turned on his Wi-Fi, his Wi-Fi router, okay? This is this is the context of the video that we're about to watch. Radio frequency meter. Notice that this modem is innocently sitting here, apparently doing nothing. However, when we turn on the radio frequency meter, it is measuring the transmission of the wireless coming out of this modem. Yeah. And you can see that the peak signal strength on the left on the left column of this meter right is at almost six volts per meter that's as high as it goes and on the right hand side the microwatts per square meter in terms of average is sometimes peaking up at 10,000 these are ex okay I, I maybe 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 I'm misinterpreting things okay maybe maybe I just Maybe I just don't know what he's what he's trying to get at right now. Um, <clears throat> that might just be me. I don't know. Um, but it seems to me that he turned on his Wi-Fi router and then he put on a radio wave detector, and the radio wave detector is detecting radio waves coming off of his Wi-Fi router. I mean, yeah. What's it supposed to do? <laughs> extremely dangerous readings of radio frequency radiation going through my body and most of us have our modems sitting like this at our desk yeah or we maybe do. at the floor somewhere near us sure yeah now I'm, I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna turn the volume up I'm gonna walk around the house and now I'm out of my office I'm walking into the living room. I'm going to show you the office is back in that direction through those doors. And although the reading is down a little bit on the meter, you can still see that the whole house is more or less being influenced by this radio frequency transmission. Guys, look, okay, hang on. I just need everybody to understand right now that when I turn on my Wi-Fi, uh, it, it's producing uh, Wi-Fi signals throughout my house, and uh, that's bad. I when I when I 
Look, when I want to turn on my Wi-Fi, I don't want my Wi-Fi to emit any Wi-Fi signals because that's dangerous. Uh, can you imagine how many people right now have turned on their Wi-Fi and their Wi-Fi is emitting Wi-Fi signals? It's amazing how much people don't know. Those sheeple. Those fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think that hard drive is about to go. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. I think his hard drive is about to go. I think his, his fucking brain is about to crash. What the fuck, dude? Oh, my God. Influence. Influence. Listen, it's influenced. It's very simple. Um, one of my other ones that I really like, one of my favorite ones that I like to talk to uh, people about, especially wing nuts. Uh, I've actually caught quite a few people here in Eugene uh, when I still went outside. I don't do that anymore. I've learned my lesson. I don't ever go out in public. Um, but before I, I learned that lesson, I would go out and I would talk to people. And I, I'd always find these people and they're like, Okay, well, like, there's the GMOs, there's the vaccines, and this, that, and the other thing. But the real problem, man, radiation. Radiation's the big problem, man. You ever heard about that EMF radiation, electromagnetic frequency? It's all that kind of shit just permeating everything. You're like, well, yeah, yeah, wow, dude, no. Dude, do you know what the biggest electromagnetic field that we are impacted by on a daily basis? daily scale do you know the biggest one that we're impacted with in every facet of our lives what man is it like cell phones like no wow man is it like the wi-fi no it's called the planet the planet emits the largest electromagnetic field uh displacement of radiation uh than anything we do but you know whatever go off king it's fine <laughs> people try to be crazy Oh, no. I mean, we have to. It's on the program. It's literally on the program. I can't I can't get away from it. All right, it's fine. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So first, we want to deal with the hierarchy and the construct of the elite agenda and how it's administered to the public and what they believe and how you play into it and how you defeat I apologize if we don't have a whole lot of ramp up into this video. Uh, usually I like to play the intros, especially with young Pharaoh, but his intro was so annoying. And he was like, peace, peace, family. This is all about a, vi a video that you should have seen like a million years ago, but nobody watched it. Nobody here watched it. So like, whatever. Feed them. So when people say this is a spiritual war, it's true. Now that doesn't mean you don't have to physically do anything, but we have to understand how do we defeat the elites. First, you have to understand who the elites are, okay? Uh, <laughs> to make a long story short, okay. the elites yep. are a group of Luciferian slash Freemasonic slash agenda, I mean, secret society members that have an agenda to push in the New World Order. The New World Order is the understanding of Lucifer as God. Now, I've done plenty of videos, live streams, lectures, on this subject, I got a, a personal website where I go hard with the info because you can't just post everything on the internet because they are deleted. So go subscribe to youngfrail.net. I did a whole lecture on Wiccan, Luciferianism, Satanism, and Freemasonry Exposed. Go watch it. Now, with that being said, boom. Look, I, I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna give a shout out. Like, okay, there there is certain wing nuts that I stand. I stand certain wing nuts. And when I when I say like I think you actually should subscribe to them, it's because they do possess a certain amount of entertainment quality that even outside of the Wingnut Roundup, I think that you should experience because it's pretty fun. I usually am subscribed to them as well. Uh, Young Pharaoh, Young Pharaoh is worth subscribing to, not for the purposes that he thinks, but for the purposes that I think. Lucifer is the god of all religions. Yahweh okay. is another way for Lucifer, name for Lucifer. Jesus is another name for Lucifer. Allah is another name for Lucifer. All monotheistic religions were created by free masonry, okay? And they okay. all hint to each other because they all were written by the same entities to co-conspire the same plan, okay? Even Jews, they say the six-point star is the star of Moloch, a.k.a. Ram Fam, who's the devil, and they say the house of the devil is the synagogue. 
who worships a, lo a god in a synagogue? The Jews. So there's not a whoa 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 whoa, whoa 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 Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. <clears throat> Look, young Pharaoh. All respect to you, my dude. But you can't just go go calling the Jews a pack of Satanists. Okay. Listen, this is 2020. Uh, that's <laughs> that's some spooky shit. Not cool. Planet Earth. Okay, that does not subscribe to Lucifer. This is why when you walk into a Freemasonic temple or a lodge, on the altar Ooh. is a Quran, a Bible, and a Torah. Because Judaism, Islam, and Christianity are all three religions which subscribe to Lucifer secretly and covertly. Now, Wait, what? why is it important? What? Luciferians believe that from chaos comes order, which is retarded and stupid, and nobody <laughs> with common sense would ever believe what? something like that. So they believe if you create chaos, you'll bring order. Okay, so the way that you create chaos is you reverse the natural flow of energy. Okay, so you make left, right, you make up, down, down, up, you make a man, a woman, a woman, a man, you make a real tree, a fake tree, you take a fake tree, present it as a real tree. So these, you know, this is the science of uh, of chaos versus order and all of the shit that's going on in the world. Forget real intelligence. Now we got artificial intelligence. Forget strawberries. Now you got strawberry candy. Forget an orange. Now you got a GMO orange. Forget reality. Now you got reality television. So what they're doing is. I feel like I just had my brain fucked uh, by 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 a biker with a chain wrapped around his dick. What the fuck? What the? Sh oh, that was a lot. That was a whole lot. Uh, ugh, breathe for a second. Okay. Go ahead. They're reversing the construct of energy. But in order to do this, okay, the number one secret of the occult is to convince you to use your own free will to do it yourself. See, the number one trick of the magician, I mean, of the magician is to make you believe you were just tricked. That's why people love magic, because it's not really happening. I'm not saying magic not real, but when it comes to like magic tricks and things like that, you tricking your own self off, based off your observation and your perspective. So what happens is, what the, what the elites are doing with the media, the music, the food, and everything, vaccine, for all the way from the media all the way down to vaccines and everything in between, educate, all of that. What they're doing is they're collectively influencing each and every community to use their own free will in order to further aid the agenda. Let me give you an example, right? Oh, please. Let's say they want to enact martial law. In order uh, to enact pause. martial law, oh, you need civil law. No. Okay, okay, good. <sighs> I want to hear his example. I want to hear his example, and then I think we're probably going to move on. But I just need, like, a moment to breathe before we actually hear this example. This is a little nutty for me. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing in the chat? You guys having a good time? You guys having a good time? We got some good numbers out here tonight, man. I'm feeling good. Uh... Jeff has now drank not half a bottle. Um, it's about half. It's about half. And you gotta keep in mind, I'm Scandinavian and Irish, so like I have a very high tolerance. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Um, la December wingnut roundup. By the end, who things were real shaky. But you know what? It Actually, meant in a lot of myths and ancient cultures. Ooh. Chaos was first and everything came out of that. So in some ways they believes chaos brought order, but that was also during the pre-scientific period. Sure, sure. Um well and also it depends on like where you're talking about, you know. Uh the the first instincts of people trying to describe the world around them and things that they could not scientifically explain. Uh, would be in the shape of like animism, you know, uh, the, we, we, we prescribe a certain type of attitude or personality things that we can't control things like the weather, uh, the wind is a god, the sun is a god, whatever those types of things, the tides are a god. Um, and somehow chaos brings order. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty basic kind of stuff. But yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. And that's really interesting stuff and cool to think about and talk about. Young Pharaoh doesn't usually care about, but also big shout out and love to my uh, my friends who uh, showed up at the end of my December wingnut roundup, uh, and then who who babysat my drunk ass the rest of the night after I left all of you guys. So, yep, that was a uh, that was an interesting night. Let's let's hear his explanation, then we're gonna move on to the next one. We can't stick on Young Pharaoh all night. 
unrest. So what do they do? They sprinkle a little bit of negativity about black people to white people. Then they go to white, black people and, and sprinkle a little bit of racism to us to make us feel some type of way about white people. Oh, now, sure. Sure. then they go sure. to Spanish people, sprinkle a little racism about black and white people to Spanish people. Then they go to white and black people and sprinkle, sprinkle a little bit of racism about Spanish people to black and white people. So they keep everybody fighting, right? Now, why are you fighting? Not because somebody came in your house and told you to hate somebody. Because somebody convinced you to use your own free will to think negatively towards somebody else. They go to police and sprinkle a little negativity about criminals to police. And go to criminals and sprinkle a little negativity about police to criminals. See? So, this is why they say the, the secret societies always fund both sides of the war. Because the war starts right here. Because the, the first slave master you'll ever have is in your mind. And so... And you know what? I'll agree with him on that. I'll agree with him on that. Like, that's, that's totally fine. That's understandable. I don't think the, what's really interesting about the, the when you when you pay attention to wing nuts long enough, you start to see like some decent messaging coming out of it. All of the baseline stuff, the surface level things are usually a bunch of bullshit. But young Pharaoh, no matter how much he's completely full of shit, has kind of altruistic ideals at hand. Um, so. No, I'm being way too charitable. No, fuck that guy. <laughs> He's such a dick. Um, what what time are we at? Seven about seven thirty. Do we want to do? Oh, mm. 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 We're gonna go yada. We're gonna go yada. I have a treat for you guys. I found some yada footage. We're gonna have fun with yada. Uh, again, this is one of those videos that I had to like fix the audio from. It's also from facebook so i had to like copy it over to my second channel so the question is is cancer hereditary or oh. is any illness or disease hereditary the answer is no the oh. only thing that gets passed down from generation to generation is information the information that we've been getting getting from our parents and grandparents has given us inflammation on a cellular level because real food whoa 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 see we were like look <clears throat> if we were living naturally we'd be getting the information from our family but we'd be getting the inflammation from our family well fuck my balls well slap my nuts well finger my asshole my god yada you've cracked the fucking code let's do it Give your body information most people say yada you're crazy cancer is hereditary if cancer was hereditary, that means the first people to ever walk the planet had every sickness known to man. That is not a... Oh my fucking cracked? This motherfucker just cracked the code! He just cracked the code! Holy sh... Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. I'd rather sprinkle a little towards glasses and positivity. Aw, that's cool. I appreciate that. That's actually really sweet. I'm going to take a little bit of a sip of this whiskey before I start to lose my shit on Yada. Um, that's so sweet, Aaron. You are, you, you, you're a mensch, and I love you. I love you. I love all of you guys. I love all, love all you guys in chat. I'm big, I'm, I'm going to get all big and squishy tonight. I can feel it. I'm going to get all sappy again. I'm going to get all sappy again, and then I'm going to go back, and tomorrow morning I'll wake up, I'll look at it, I'll be like, fuck, I did it again. I got all gay with my chat at the end of the fucking roundup. I do that every month. Fuck. Stop it. All right, hang on. What did Yada just say? Hang on. Every sickness known to man. Oh, that yeah, yeah. is not an actual fact. Okay, okay. So what Yada, Yada is saying here. <clears throat> Come here. So what Yada is saying here, Yada is making the claim that it doesn't make sense that disease is hereditary, which, by the way, just in case anybody is like keeping score at home with our home game, uh, disease, broadly speaking, is not hereditary. But that doesn't mean all disease is not hereditary. In fact, many diseases are hereditary. Many cancers are hereditary. Well, or at least the predisposition to getting those types of cancers are hereditary. But that doesn't mean that this is just like an open blank slate. The reductivist argument that would would basically need to exist, which doesn't exist, for Yada's point to even be legitimate, 
it, it, it just doesn't exist. It, it's not real. It's not real. He's arguing something that nobody has ever legitimately said ever. And he has this idea. This and and you can you can almost, you can feel it. You can feel this. Okay? Yada is sitting there one day, right? And I know you're going to watch this someday in the future, Yada. I hope you do, actually. You're sitting there in your Costa Rica little fucking uh, hovel that you've paid, like, $1,500 for the entire year. <clears throat> and you come upon this great fucking idea. Well, it can't be hereditary. Because then, the first human beings would add all damn diseases. And you felt like a big brain fucking philosopher, like the smartest motherfucker on the planet. Uh, totally taking away the whole aspect of uh, mutation or the fact that new organisms, new strains, new this, new that pop up all the fucking time. It's just, it's just, uh, it's such a waste of oxygen to debunk people like fucking Yada. Sickness did not come in until people started going off the diet of their ancestors, meaning their proper way of life. If an elephant has a certain diet, if a lion has a certain diet, if a pit bull has a certain diet, they have to stick to it. <laughs> have you noticed that majority of all animals that have been domesticated have the same sicknesses as the humans that have been domesticated? What do I mean by domestication? Meaning you no longer move all proper instinct. You no longer in your natural environment eating your natural food. Now you're eating food that's coming from the laboratory, which is nothing but chemicals destroying your body on a cellular level. If food is information, it tells ourselves exactly what to do. Again, we are biological computers. The food is the information. Real food tells your cells exactly how to move. For no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And it never has. It never has. Our bodies are the most intelligent part of it. Food does not transcribe some type of information, a set of instructions in which we can actually uh, process it into energy. But by the way, this is this is something though that that I think is pretty important. This is the last thing I'm going to say on this issue for at least this month. Maybe we'll pick it up at some point. Um, a long time ago, <clears throat> and we're talking like we're talking a million years ago in YouTube terms. Okay, a million years ago, I made a humble little video talking about this man, and I messaged him. I messaged him and I was like, look, man, I'm going to make this video because I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong about a few certain different topics and I'm going to go through some established science. And I was wondering if you'd be willing to speak with me on this issue before or even after I make this video. And this is what Yada said to me. Yada said to me, a lion does not spend time with the sheep. Well, <clears throat> you gotta mean, um, since that time, uh, I and my influence, my social media influence has grown exponentially, whereas yours has been pretty stagnant. And at this point, I dwarf your content quite easily without even breaking a sweat. So at this point, who's the lion? Who is actually the lion? You lying, pandering, propagandist, <clears throat> cocksucker. <laughs> Suck my dick, you know what I mean? All right, anyway. Done with that. Let's go. Let's move on to something else, something fun. Let's do something different. BC Brand says, holy God, I love drunk Jeff. I'm not even that drunk, man. I, like, I've been standing up this whole fucking time. Usually by this point in time, this whole thing would be gone. I'm not that drunk. I actually feel totally fine. I feel like I could... I could probably, like, walk a straight line. If I could do, like, a... It could be fine. It's totally fine. Maybe not. <clears throat> Thankfully, we're almost done. So it doesn't matter. the planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. Mm, hello. 
Uh, where's the wind next? First time catching a live roundup. Love your content. Thanks so much for the entertainment during a horrible time here in Canberra. Oh, shit. From Jacinta. Um, I, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, Canberra is in Australia, yeah? Um, yeah, sorry your country's on fire. Everything about that is just super terrible. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, my heart goes out to you, man. Or woman. Uh, Alexandra Little says that sombrero makes you look white. It should, because I'm very, very painfully white. Sierra Larson, hooray, I didn't miss the entire live stream. Had to go to an event at my kid's school and miss the start. Love you. Dr. Daddy, Jeff, and Mims. I think I already read that one, but that's okay. Uh, where's he went next? First time catching a live roundup. Love your content. Thanks so much for the entertainment during a horrible time. Oh, yeah. I just fucking read that. I'm an idiot. Okay, maybe I am drunk. Shush. BC Brandt. Holy God, I love drunk. Drunk Jeff. Yes. The Darling Delane. Love to see a bit of his driver and their reacts. That would be good. Uh, ops got memes. Wake up from a flu nap. But guess around. Thanks for occupying my sick time with the wing nuts, Daddy Jeff. Okay, I think it's official. We can call it. I'm drunk, but that's okay because we still have plenty of show left to do. Oh fuck! I apologize in advance. Fuck. Shalom and blessings. It's been a while. It's been. A couple of weeks since I put the black salve on my lip. Well, sorry. Me and my wife had realised that sorry. I missed a, part, a piece of it, and true fear, a little bit of fear of the black salve and what it was going to do to my lip. Um, I only put a little bit on, and I didn't put enough on. But in doing so, it showed me that even with the little bit I put on, Nescar came off my lip. Um, and there was concave in my lip and over the next couple of weeks it really began to heal back very nicely but there was just one part underneath there that just started growing back again from that lump and it was really sore and ah, oh, it was just painful so I knew I had to do the black salve again and this time I just rubbed it around and I knew that it was only going to go in to the cancer and uh, this time when I put it on the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain was excruciating. Stop putting. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, TV's Jeff Holiday here. Um, Black Salve, a.k.a. Bloodroot, is not, in fact, a recommended way to treat any of these ailments whatsoever. What you're doing is burning a hole in your body. It's not going to help. You probably don't have cancer on your mouth, and you should probably stop and immediately seek medical intervention. Thank you. God fucking damn it. <clears throat> It was one of the toughest trials I've gone through. And then don't! Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so thankful then just I have don't. a beautiful wife then who just don't. me the whole time. Then just don't do it. And was there with me and loved, loving upon me. And my daughter as well. There's but nothing the wrong with you, dude. There's nothing... There's nothing. I realized the most. There's nothing wrong with this guy. There's nothing wrong with this dude. That God was working on me. No! God God doesn't have anything to do with what's going on! Some jackass convinced you to put this shit on your mouth! He taught me so many valuable lessons. Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh my fucking God. My heart was at. How I still judged. Even in... Looking at a video coming up on a screen, a picture coming up a screen, and just judging it. Just making a, a, a mental... No, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I don't I, I don't want to make a sideshow out of people who have been convinced into something that's incredibly dangerous. I, I'd like to take a moment to to showcase somebody doing something insanely dumb as a teachable moment for people. But like this, this is, this is soul shattering. This is somebody who's so convinced by somebody 
selling a bunch of pseudoscience bullshit blow up your ass fucking snake oil cures that he's willing to suffer unbelievable amounts of agony thinking that this magical substance can just draw out only cancer cells and if it hurts it means i had cancer it doesn't mean that i basically put a burning escarotic on my skin This, the, mm, mm, rare, rare is it, and thank fuck for these examples, but rare is it that you can have an example of pseudoscience so blatantly and overtly stupid and shitty that you can actually just point to it and be like, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. And you should not be that dumb. I'm, I don't think this guy is dumb. I don't think this guy is stupid. I think this guy is gullible. That's the problem. It's uh, it's horrifying. All of it is so horrifying. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I'm going through... Uh, I'm going through a, a, a really fascinating scenario. Really fascinating situation. Let's see. Okay. I've got memes. Wake up from a flu nap and catch around up. Thanks for occupying my sick time with wing nuts, Daddy Jeff. You are very welcome. Okay. I guess we're about at that point. All right. We're fine. Cool. Let's go. Um. We got two more left. Two more left, guys, and then we're done. Let's go. Could aliens really be demons? This is a topic I would never have expected to cover when I first started making videos years ago. But as time has gone by, I've begun to question far more than I ever could have imagined in the past. There's an undeniable spiritual connection to the political sphere whether or not you believe in such things. For me, it's become impossible to deny that this is based on far more than mere superstition. Okay. And that Christianity is the biggest target of all for leftist ideology. For this video, I want to focus on one of the most outlier theories that bring together the spiritual and political. The extraterrestrial demon hypothesis. I'm oh. not suggesting okay. that aliens exist. I'm not even necessarily suggesting that demons exist. Although if you believe in the angels and God described in the Bible, it would basically be impossible to dismiss that Satan and demons exist as well. What I am suggesting in this video is that mainstream and popular evidence for aliens is extremely suspicious and points to something else entirely. Okay. Since I've already made two other videos that provide a good primer for what I'll be discussing here, okay. I recommend you watch them if you want more background oh. on this topic. You also might want to watch my Why Science Hasn't Disproven God video for an explanation of how science, or pseudoscience to be more exact, has falsely crafted a narrative that God has been disproven. Uh, let's 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 take a break for a second. Let's let's understand like his basic argument. His basic argument here is that potentially, when people think they've seen an alien, an an extraterrestrial, what they've actually seen is a demon. Okay, that's the basic theory from which we're operating on right now. Which is why rigid skepticism is now paving the way for mad spiritual beliefs connected to aliens. The most well-known and common alien or extraterrestrial encounter is the grey alien, with okay. their small bodies, sure. smooth grey coloured skin, enlarged hairless heads and large black eyes. Right. Also associated with alien abductions of human victims onto UFOs and the experiments that follow. Logically speaking, if we uncover when encounters with grey aliens first began, this should tell us a great deal. The answer to this question is so bizarre that it would be impossible to dismiss the evidence with the kind of rigid scepticism we get from today's so-called science advocate. 
Well, 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 okay, I'm 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 a bit confused. I hope that he expands on this, but like, uh, the the rigid science skepticism on whether or not what like like the alien crafts land on it, or that these things are specifically like, uh, extra planar demon entities. I'm really curious about this. I like I I like this kind of stuff. I think this is pretty interesting. I want to see like where we go from here. Who's only real interest? tends to be destroying the credibility of the Bible. The first widely publicized alien abduction. I'm sorry, wait, hang, okay, can we, look. <clears throat> oh, I, I almost want to like throw my fucking earpiece out, but I gotta hear what you guys have to say. Hey Jeff, huge fan, love watching oh, your videos hello. while working my overnight shifts. Hi. Keep doing what you do, you're the best. Oh, Alison Perry, let me say, uh, very very much so you are your 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 stream labs or super chat is very well timed because uh i i needed that little bit of ego boost let's <clears throat> let's collect our thoughts here for a second okay <clears throat> okay so this guy is trying to explain to us that uh skepticism okay uh is trying to say uh, that uh, if we don't have enough evidence for aliens, then aliens can't exist. Or if we don't have enough evidence for God, then God doesn't exist. And that it is uh, illogical and inappropriate for these types of questioning and skepticism to be enacted. I would say, I would say uh, that uh, a rigid system by which people are supposed to be adopting a rigid system by which people are supposed to be adopting for their own uh, lifestyle uh, should probably stand up to scrutiny, but you know, what the fuck do I know? Is Betty and Barney Hill in 1965, sure. where it was reported in the newspapers that they claimed to have been abducted in 1961 by aliens with grey skin. Okay. Though the grey aliens' big bulging eyes and other key characteristics don't feature in their account. I can claim that I had a, a rockin' hot threesome uh, between uh, an elderly Margaret Thatcher and a young, hot teenage Hillary Clinton. I can claim that doesn't mean it's true. I could say whatever the fuck I want. Uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. Other earlier encounters are totally not only happened, few in number, but bear little to no resemblance to Grey's. In fact, there are so few alien encounters that a series of theories about ancient aliens pushed heavily by the History Channel is the only way to legitimize the highly dubious idea that aliens were still about before the 1950s, when encounters became a growing epidemic. Therefore, to understand how grey aliens became such a big part of the cultural narrative, we need to go back much further than the 50s. It may or may not surprise people to discover that the first description of anything resembling grey aliens wasn't an encounter of any kind, but a description given by famed science fiction writer H.G. Wells. In an what? 1893 article named Man of the Year Million, he envisioned the possibility that humanity would be transformed into grey-skinned beings around one meter oh, tall, with big God. heads and large oval-shaped <clears throat> pitch black eyes. Sure, sure, Three sure. Three years later, the earliest alien encounter was published in the November 1896 edition of the Stockton, California Daily Mail about H.G. Shaw, though once again this bears little resemblance to the grey. Wells then brief- Okay, no, no, I'm done. I'm done. Look, I think that this whole thing is very fascinating. The whole thing is very fascinating. Um, look, if, if you believe in the existence of aliens, fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you believing that we're not alone. Um, in fact, uh, the, the, the wonderful childlike wonder that you can get from the idea that maybe aliens are out there and they're visiting us is a wonderful, wonderful experience that gets crushed once you start to examine it with any length of time and that's kind of the problem with being a cynic when you're a cynic or when you're you know hardcore into skepticism like 
those types of things tend to fall apart. But if you like that, if you like to entertain that idea, that's good, good, good for you. Envision this idea that maybe we're being, in, we're, maybe we're being uh, uh, visited by gray aliens. Maybe the the reptoid uh, Grand Galactic Federation of Light blah 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 is happening. Good, enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not hurting anybody. Have fun. I I I encourage you to have fun with all these wild ideas because it's all just creativity. Who cares? It's fine. You're not hurting anybody. Who cares? Be fun. Be weird. Be happy. Just just be goofy. It's fine. Um, and then when 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 things like go down to brass tacks and we have to like you know run up the receipts, you know, it is what it is. But I'm just saying, man. I I wish in in a lot of ways I wish I could be back in those days that I used to be where I believed in aliens when i when i believed that like things were happening behind the veil of illusion that the elites were putting out i kind of missed that sort of thing i thought it was so fun it was so interesting it was so cool man i knew so much i knew so much that my next door neighbors they couldn't even fucking they couldn't even fucking wrap their heads around that shit man and it was cool i felt really fucking important really important is great and it's too bad because i don't feel that way anymore all right guys <clears throat> it's about that time so i'm gonna let all of you guys off right now oh, we got what 882 live viewers right now i'm gonna let all of you guys off the hook right now if you all want to jump out right now you don't have to stick around for what we're about to do okay it's all right it's fine but look Where we're about to go, it's a place for only the strong, all right? It's a place where only the battle-hardened, woo-woo fucking viewers of the most batshit pseudoscience, the kinds of people who watch people insert weird needles into their body, consume the most disgusting substances, and burn or prosecute... Just, just, just listen... It's not kindergarten anymore. It's the last video of the night. So if you want to bounce out, I will understand. I personally will understand. I give I, I give you a fair pass if you're not going to do it. Okay? But here we go. Alright guys, I only got a few minutes to throw this quick instructional video together about several of the urine therapy protocols so i let's, hope you're oh, here let's, let's do it present Sage. let's I do hope it you have some shibambu you're ready to rock it out roll it out do your thing okay so you see me do plenty of urine therapy enemas urine enemas or an enemas probably not i have not actually seen brother sage do uh urine enemas yet <clears throat> But I would probably actually watch that. Yeah, no. If I'm if I'm being totally if I'm being totally honest with myself, I would probably watch it. <clears throat> Not showing you how to put it in the bum and take it from there, but you get the idea. The other protocols, <clears throat> I'm going to uh -huh. throw at you really quick here, and they're going to include the eye cup, eye wash. The other one, which is over here, Bearbergy is holding it, but let's see if we can talk him out of it. Other thing is the goggles, and I learned this one from George. That's from good. We love all. Glad you did. I also love. I also was reminded of this from Stephen Williams, the guy who put together urinate. Anyway, these are great for uh, really getting urine into your eyes, really getting the magic water, soaking them into your eyes. Oh God, I can almost feel it right now. And your eyes will be open. Your eyes will be blinking, and you'll be just bathing in amniotic water that'll be a whole lot of fun so that's another one of the things that you can do the other thing is the eye cup the eye cup is very simple let me show you how to do it <clears throat> um let's see we need to transfer it into possibly the neti pot the neti pot is an old standby everybody knows the neti pot 
But the eye cup, you know the eye cup. You guys have been around YouTube a while. You've been around YouTube. You've seen I've all been around YouTube for a while, my now. buddy. So you can take an eye cup and stick it over your eye and create a seal. <clears throat> and is this gorgeous or what? Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, yeah, Brother Sage. Yeah. Oh. It's so gorgeous. Mm. Angry it's face. It's pronounced it. urine. Mm. It's pronounced urin, actually. Thank you. You fuck. I should turn the camera around. You should. You should it. not be. You uh, should not be filming this. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know you why. Want to hold it for a good ten seconds or longer. <sighs> oh, okay. And then what, something I learned from Dr. Roz over at the Water of Life Symposium a couple of years ago. Oh, Dr. Roz, just yeah. The rest of it and pour it on the side of your eye. Oh, it just look, look. The thing is, you have to like, you have to angle. Look, you have to angle the pee pee, so it drains in one crevice in your eye, and it leaks in a sheen across the surface of your eyeball. And then collates near your tear duct and then drips out, right? That totally hasn't turned everybody completely off, right? It's good. And let it trickle over your eye. Ah, trickle Sorry is the best word ever. Angle. I'm excited. This is great. Mm. Okay. Sure. And you're going to do the eye, and then you can do the ear. You're going to do the ear part, the ear rinse. Oh. Should I turn the camera around? Danny, is it better the other way? Then you can see it this way, maybe. Then you're gonna do the, the ear. You have to do it like this. And you stick it in your ear. This ain't working. This ain't working. Other Sorry, planets that, that I've created in the solar the system camera. are doing very well. I'm glad. I'm glad that other planets in the your solar system are doing quite well. We'll read that in a minute. And so you're gonna tip it on one side and get it all in your ear. You know, I know he girl, licked. I know he licked the cup. I know he licked the cup. I know. To get it to go in there. You're gonna do that. There we go. Okay. Oh man, it's coming out the other side. My head is hollow. There's no brain in here. <laughs> and uh, with the nose, you've got several options with the nose. One is a straight out neti pod, which is difficult to show. Oh, is that just sexy as hell? Yeah. Uh-huh. That is so beautiful. Make sure you clean your nostrils out. Keep Kleenex nearby. Stop Never I need you. That's the way it goes. The other thing is, uh, I uh, found these over at a drugstore one day, and I was staring at them going, that's not what it's supposed to be used for. And what it is is one of these fleet enema little plastic bottles. And it comes with a saline solution. You're supposed to stick it up your bum okay. and do uh, enemas with this. Okay. So what I did was I go down and then I emptied it out, cleaned it out. Now, if you take off the top part, you guys want to get some quick snorts yeah. up your nose. Okay, really so one, one, thing, one thing I want to mention was like, the first time I saw this video, yeah, no, I call, I, I call, I called you way too early. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, darling. Uh, the first time I saw this video, I thought that he got this, uh, this enema bottle, like from used from like a, a thrift store, and that he was sticking somebody's old used enema bottle up his nose. But no, he he got it from like, he got it from like a Walgreens or a CVS or some shit like that. I know. Dude, I make the same face every time I think about this video. Try not to puke. Well, I'm sorry. It's not my idea. Oh, look. Okay. <clears throat> Here. Hang on. All right. This is what we're going to do. Do I have to listen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> is that a requirement? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, you do. Okay. Here we go. I would suggest you spend two bucks, go down to the drugstore. This is called a uh, fleet enema, a saline, saline enema disposable. Right. And I don't dispose it. I just keep using it. Okay. The other thing you can do is cotton balls. Cotton balls. 
a piece of because if you got a skin condition and skin plant blemish and oh, yeah. it's fresh just, and it's just, warm, it feels just, awesome. Just dab, a, just dab a little piss on it. Just dab a little piss on it. You're gonna be fine. Spoon I never thought that it. I'd be doing makeup videos as an adult. Look, but he's, you want to get into all those areas. If he's you just dabbing a little pee pee on it. Marks, moles, acne, I'm gonna, I'm skin conditions, sunburn, suntan. I'm in a Facebook group. It's constructed. Group for, oh, fuck. Oh. For, uh, like, showing random stuff. And, like, somebody posted, like, a picture of someone taking a flea, or not flea bath, uh, a pee bath. And it, ironically, it was like a Justin Wang fan account. <laughs> It was a Justin Wang fan account. Oh no! But oh, but no. like uh, oh my god! Yeah yeah I had to I had to tell him like yeah that's real people like actually bathe in the pee pee. They do no some. They don't believe me. Some people <laughs> like, actually. No, they do. Some people actually they legit. Did. They bathe in the fucking pee pee. I'm sorry, I didn't pee-pee. mean to distract you. No, you know what? At at, at this point, like. Uh, so I had like three other videos and they were very lame. They were very lame. And I'm glad that I didn't put them on because we actually hit like the three hour goal perfectly. Uh, those are only like kind of placeholders. And I'm pretty happy about that. I think that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Yeah, that's pretty great. That's pretty. That's pretty great. That's true. <laughs> I can't be Lynn, man. I gotta make my own shit. That's true. That's true. Don't knock over my wine bottle now. (laughs) You want to go? All right. So anyway, uh, real quick, real quick. What do we, who, uh, Murin Stewart says, my body is ready. Castro Gladio says, even if I knew zero about urine urine therapy, I'd still look at Brother Sage and think to myself, yeah, that looks and sounds like a man who loves piss. Yeah, it's true. Imagine standing behind those people at the grocery store. My GT was taken, says my condolences on the amount of videos you had to proof watch just to the just to do the roundup alone. All the love from Australia. It's my pleasure. It's my abs. It, look, it's my fu- it's my fucking job, man. It's my job, and I love this job. This job is fucking amazing. And the reason why this job is so goddamn amazing is that as much as it might be shitty to have to dredge through all the shit every fucking month, at the end of that month, I get to spend all this time with you. With you guys. And with you. You're pretty... But I have your... Uh, <coughs> and with you. But with you guys. But with you. I'm with her every day. But with you guys. You guys are fucking great. You are amazing. That's you make true. me really happy. You make me really happy, and it means all the world to me to be able to spend this time with you guys once a month. And so, with that, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna need you to go and play the song. The song? Yeah. Which it's button? it's loaded up on the on the third, the third the to the left the far left, that side the other. Side. That left. Yes. Okay. You need to play it all over in there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just, just click, 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 play. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Listen, everybody. It's been a time. It's been a thing. You and me together about three hours. Just doing our fucking thing, having a great ass fucking time, seeing yeah, these weird motherfuckers yeah, doing yeah, this horrible yeah, thing yeah, together. And you, won't stop, and you know what? You I'll see you next you fucking month. I'm, 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 and I love I'm you. The be the school, best ever. motherfucker you can be. I love you. Smoking blunts with the daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the tray deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my neck. Back lounging black, smoking sacks up and axe and sidekick. With my sidekicks rocking fly kicks Honey's wanna chat, but all we wanna know is where the party at I cannot bring my gas, if not, I hope I don't get shot Better throw my vest on my chest, cause niggas is a mess It don't take nothing but front for me to start something Bugging and fucking at niggas like I was fuck hunting Coming out just me and my crew, cause all we wanna do is Party and bullshit and party